Good evening, good morning, good afternoon from wherever you are in the world. My name is Sajay. Uh, we are returning here for the next race of the 2023 Pokemon Let's Go Any Percent No Mount Skips Tournament. Uh, this is race number five down in the lower bracket between Sandy Beach, uh, Quo, and Razor's Edge 7. I am joined by the wonderful Greta Ice Vixen and the equally as wonderful New Amber. Uh, we have our racers. Uh, they are getting ready right now, but uh, their stats are up on the screen. Sandy, uh, one of uh, one of the runners that's been improving the most um, through the last couple weeks, uh, sc securing a 3.06.45 as their current PB with a 3.08 uh, as their fastest tournament time. Uh, and then, of course, uh, Quo, uh, their PB a 3.13.46, matching their fastest tournament time. And Razor uh, getting a PB of 3.14.24, um, and uh, their fastest time during this tournament, a 3.17.15. Uh, we got the countdown started here. Uh, about uh, 10 more seconds before we get these racers uh, started from the screen. So um, just waiting for that countdown to finish. And yeah, so uh, to my co-commentators, uh, this is a this is a highly anticipated race here. It is. Oh, I I'm excited for this race. <laughs> we I'm are anticipating. We are. Uh, <laughs> Greta, I know uh, Sandy may have promised something a little bit earlier in the chat in a previous race. <laughs> Do you wanna wanna talk about that? It was like a half promise. Sandy was like, all right, I will do mount skips, but then go back and talk to the trainer at the end of the run. If we donate 50 bucks, which did happen, but you, you could do it more, but put the pressure on more. Um, yeah. Yeah, Sandy was like, if I'm ahead enough, then I'll do it. So oh, it's kind, oh, of, kind of a cop oh. out. So. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, I'm hoping to see uh, a... a a decent lead from Sandy there, so we can get some some funny mount skips happening. Uh, mm -hmm. This is the end percent no mount skips category, which means technically you're not supposed to do mount skips, but if you do them and then turn around and talk to the trainer, it it's fine. Doesn't matter. It's actually slower to skip them and turn around and talk to them. Uh, yeah, you have exactly. To do movement to go in front of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, quite like it doesn't matter. You can just do yeah. that if you want. <laughs> Of course, uh, Sandy is the one who did a lot of research into the mount skips. Uh, kind of, I believe Sandy's actually the one that found the controller uh, that kind of makes them not terrible and not like super pixel perfect. Oh, really? I knew I knew Sandy found the setup. I didn't know they found yeah. the controller. They may have found cool. the controller. I'm not 100 percent if they found it, so don't. Anyway, the that race. The yeah. riders are off. Uh, of course, the first uh, important choice of the run: which character uh, we pick. I see one boy and two girls, so I know who I'm <laughs> cheering for. Uh, boy one, girl two, and uh, girl one. And uh, all all of our runners uh, naming their rival one, so no one getting 11. Actually, I think Sandy's name is like a dot <laughs> or something. <laughs> they picked a dot. I think so. Yeah, Rene will be going into their options menu pretty shortly. Uh, Joy-Con menuing. It is one of the things of all time, as we know. <laughs> Very this curious is a, to see. This is a pretty difficult menu, actually, uh, doing it with one Joy-Con. I cannot tell you how many hours I have practiced this menu. That looked pretty clean for all three of them. Yeah. Oh, God, no. God, that's pretty good. I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> so let's see. Wait. Is that, is that girl four from Razor? Uh, girl two, actually. Two, yeah. Oh. Oh, yep, yep, you're right. Two and four, I like, I almost never pick two and four, so like, I totally forget. <laughs> no, it's just too many inputs to get to them. I agree. Meanwhile, I'm a girl three enjoyer. Definitely not too many inputs.
All right, so we're for our Pika runner here, we're going to be taking a quick look at the CP. Uh, 27 CP means that the Pikachu is guaranteed neutral. 26 means it's not neutral. So let's try to take a look. Oh. 27 that... for Sandy. Mm -hmm. 27 for mm -hmm. Quo. Whoa. Uh, it doesn't matter for the EV. So we got at least two neutral here, which is... Good. I, I really don't want to see minus attack, Pikas. Yeah, taking minus attack is very detrimental on the Pika side. Um, Pika is uh, kind of the one to get a much easier uh, starter if you're going for like world record attempts or PB attempts. Uh, Pika has a lot of natures that you can take because uh, minus speed is not as detrimental to Pika as it is to Eevee. Yeah, this thing has, like, base 1,000 speed. You're fine if you got mana speed. It, it's something like that. It's pretty close. Yeah, it might be, like, 990. <laughs> Meanwhile, Razor doesn't know what his nature is yet. Uh, I am curious to see if Razor will check in the lab, or if he'll just take any EV and not check stats at all. Well, I, offhand, I'm not sure if Razor actually has a backup ready to go. I would, I generally assume that EV runners check just because, like, there are more bad EV natures than Pika natures. There are different strats you can do as well. Um, you know, if you know your minus speed, there's different chopping you can do um, mm -hmm. to kind of make it, to mitigate it a little bit. Or if you're minus attack or minus special, you can buy some extra X items early on. Mm -hmm. uh, Razor not checking, though. So I think Razor's just going to run with whatever they got. All right, I'll be, I'll be looking carefully at that level six le level up, seeing what stat trigger has there. I just noticed that Sandy has Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle set to plant. <laughs> that is cursed. I wish I didn't know that information. <laughs> Sandy, very hopeful for some of the one percent spawns. <laughs> I believe. Yeah, me too. Hopefully we do see a Frick in the forest. I think the race earlier today got double Frick. Or two Whoa. Fricks. Yeah. I was only like half watching. I was supposed to be working. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I watched the first part of the first race today. Um, and then the, we found stuff at work and I had to do adult stuff. Yeah. Mood. Yeah. All right, next important trick of the run here, who traps their starter below on the ledge? Uh, Sandy does not. Uh, Razor does. It's really important that you do that. I, I do it on every single run. If I don't do it, I'll reset. <laughs> so it's part of an RNG uh, manip that we do later. Yeah, yeah. We'll talk about it more when we get there. Yeah. Coming up, uh, this is the first rival fight. So this fight is um, slightly worse on Pika than it is on Eevee. Um, Eevee, uh, you do, you can get paralyzed, but the fight is a lot harder to lose uh, on Eevee than it is on Pika. Well, I mean, losing is technically optimal. It just, like, never happens. Yeah. Almost. <laughs> never happens. Yeah, if you lose this fight, uh, you actually skip a cutscene. Um, the rival doesn't like, there's, it's a much shorter cutscene, if I remember correctly, than what it is when you win. I've never lost. I, I, I don't I, know. I don't think I've ever lost this fight either. <laughs> I, I'm just going off of what Bulbapedia says. Oh, I think that was a crit turn one. That's Andy. good. Uh, Razor, unfortunately, getting paralyzed. So we'll see some status lag here, but it does look like Razor is going to be able to get out of this fight. Um, as long as we... Okay, yep, no uh, no paralysis there, just kind of a little bit of status lag, but does get through the fight in three turns. And yeah, status lag is, for some reason, in this game, when you get status affected, even though you have animations off, it will still, like, the game will internally wait for the status animation to play. 
It's like the opposite of turning off music in BDSP. <laughs> Uh, Sandy, unfortunately, stepping on a rat uh, on their way out of uh, Pallet Town um, is just going to go for the catch here. Um, this is not a bad catch. Uh, we recently discovered that there's actually a bonus uh, catch mechanic here uh, for uh, before you reach Viridian Forest that almost guarantees pretty much every catch uh, before you reach Viridian Forest. So uh, catching something before then, not too bad. Um, however, Sandy's not going to see uh, their level up stats. So still unknown on Sandy's nature. It's uh, going to be neutral, but we don't know where that AV went. Yep, normally on Pika, you'll see Quill level up on this uh, Rattata fight here. And actually, like, because you get that level fight... Oh my god, that level fight. <laughs> <laughs> because you get the level up uh, from a cat instead of in battle, it's actually... Uh, like three seconds faster. Mm -hmm. Oh, Razor gonna go for that bug. No, you do have the option to catch a, a Caterpie or Weedle outside of Viridian Forest. Sidejane mentioned that, uh, one that bonus you get from uh, catching things before Viridian and catching the bugs in Forest can be slightly annoying. While well, opting to go for the Caterpie, he he there. Razor also uh, saw a Pikachu on their screen. They have already marked the Pikachu on their catch counter. So um, after this fight, I think Razor's going to go after that Pika. Yep, that's out. Got rats. And he's getting hit by another rat. Rats. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, I don't think that's a bad EV. I didn't see all the stats, but it didn't look like Mattis attack. It looked like neutral attack and neutral special attack. It looked neutral, I think. I didn't see the defense. I didn't see the defense or the speed. Uh, so Razor going for the Pika. Uh, Razor the only uh, runner who can actually take advantage of uh, Pikachu spawning here in the forest. Uh, for Sandy and Quo, Pika spawning in the forest is just not great. Uh, it actually looked like that Pika was about to run. Oh, really? I missed that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Hello? that could be bad. Yeah, this, uh, this, uh, this Pika is giving Razor a bit of a hard time. Oh, no, it's not running. We're good. We're good. No. Okay, finally. now it's finally staying in the ball. Um, that was a pretty high-level Pika. That was level 6. Yeah, that's the highest level you can get uh, before the lore. Yeah, if you accidentally step on a bug in here and it's level 6, it's kind of worth catching if you haven't done the lure yet. Um, it's only one extra level, and uh, it's not going to be too detrimental. Low key, it's kind of worth catching most of the time, but yeah, I understand that sometimes, like, if your experience can be tight, so it may not be the best idea in a race setting where you really want to make sure you're getting good at EXP. We could have stepped on a bug. Yep. Yeah, I, I Quo did already get the Caterpie outside of Forest, though. Yep. Uh, Razor coming up on uh, Jocelyn. Um, Jocelyn is one of the more trolly fights early on in the game. Uh, kind of the final boss of uh, Ditch Bill runs. <laughs> um, on EV version, at least. Uh, it had no sand attack and can troll with sand attack, but uh, luckily Razor was able to get through uh, the sand attack there. Um, Razor also had the option there to 2C uh, that fight, uh, chose the faster 1C uh, version of the fight, but uh, if you catch Pikachu before that fight, you can 2C it and just uh, one turn it. One thing I noticed is that Razor did not deposit the Pika that he got, or at least didn't deposit it in that lore menu. 
So uh, instead of having to do a one controller catch for the first bug here, he can just use the two controllers because he has Pikachu in the party. Yeah, I think on uh, Eevee, it's more optimal to kind of just keep everything in the party. Like, yeah, they're going to gain some extra levels, but you don't really need to menu till later. Um, so you can kind of deposit everything when you fight, uh, just before you fight Evelyn. Um, it does allow you to two controller every catch from the forest, and most likely uh, the Pikachu is only going to gain one, maybe two levels, unless you get uh, lucky slash unlucky with like a Wumbo Caterpie or something. Uh, I see a Frick. 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 Uh, there is a Bulbasaur on Razor's screen. Um, Sandy going for some deposits. Uh, I believe they caught a glowing Pidgey. Razor catching the Caterpie. Looks like Quo. I know Quo saw an Oddish in the forest, but he's actually opting to get the Oddish outside at Forest. Uh, Greta, would you like to explain why? Uh, what part? The getting Oddish in general? Or <laughs> specifically Bo outside of the forest? Both. Why not? <laughs> Well, first of all, we're getting Oddish. It is specifically important because um, to get into Brock's gym, he wants us to have either a grass type or a water type, and we cannot get a water type. So, and <laughs> Oddish is um, good to use against Brock because his Pokemon do not like grass and they do not like special moves such as Absorb, and they just have a bad time. Um, but yeah, outside of Forest, Oddish is going to be two levels higher than in Forest, and higher level is good. It makes them stronger, and they're also closer to evolving in that case. Uh, Razor getting a kind of a Wumbo uh, Bulbasaur there, uh, leveling uh, his entire party. Um, he's going to have to gain one extra level on the bugs, because uh, that leveled them to 10. Um, so it's a bit of a little bit of a time loss there, but... Uh, Razor can actually save that time uh, when they go to catch, if they decide to catch uh, Bellsprout, uh, to get them to level 13. Because uh, at level 13, you can skip Tail Whip on Brock. Mm -hmm. I also noticed that Razor is actually a hasty nature, which is plus speed, minus defense. So, uh, I mean, that's, that's basically like neutral. With haste, with plus speed, there are like some things you can outspeed if you have really good level or really good AVs. But generally, plus speed doesn't really help EV too much. Now, you need a lot of AVs, uh, but the big one to outspeed is uh, Jesse's Arbok if you get a ton of AVs. Mm -hmm. There's also a, a Kadabra in Rock Tunnel that's nice to outspeed. Oh, I forgot about Sophia, yeah. Yeah, you need a similar amount of AVs to outspeed that. So, uh, I mean, it's nice if you get that, but it's not like game. It's not really game changing if you do, yeah. anyways. Uh, Sandy, uh, unfortunately not finding a Caterpie, um, has already unmarked it from their, uh, tracker. <laughs> that... It's okay, they'll just get, uh, Squirtle. Yeah, good point. Wait, <laughs> Candy, Unplanned, Bulbasaur, and Charmander, and Squirtle. I'm so no. sad. No. It's, well, it's so Jover. That was the only place we could see Bulbasaur. What about um... Charmander and Squirtle? Charmander's coming up. It's on the next route. Okay, okay. I believe. Yeah, I believe, too. Greta, do you believe? Yes. Okay, thank we you. Maybe it'll, it'll happen. <laughs> we need, to, need to the three for three. Now it's going to happen for sure. Yeah, one of the big reasons we like catching the bugs is because they evolve very quickly and they are three Pokemon. Um, for those who haven't seen this run before, uh, this entire speed run, as Greta mentioned earlier, the requirement to get into Brock's gym is to have a grass Pokemon. Uh, every gym has a requirement to get into. Some of them are really pointless and, like, don't actually matter, like Erica's, but... Um, uh, this entire speedrun is built around Koga's requirement, which requires 50 Pokemon registered in the Pokedex. So, uh, capturing a Caterpie is actually plus three to the Pokedex. Sandy going for growth there. 
Yeah, so when you're a level 9 Oddish for, for Onyx, it's a range to one shot depending on your special attack. And Onyx can also troll with like headbutt flinches, so it's it's safer. It's probably like slightly slower on average to do that, but it's definitely safer. Uh, Razor also skipping Bellsprout, uh, just showing the Bulbasaur. Uh, it's not a big deal. We can get Bellsprout later. It does spawn on 24, whatever the route is, heading towards Bill's house. Yeah, 25. Um, 25, yeah. I think it comes <laughs> at 11, maybe? Um, that's, I know that's the level Meowth comes at on that route. The level range is like, because you don't lore for that, so it's yeah. like... 9 to 14, maybe? Do you know, Greta? Nope. Why would oh. I ever be on that route? <laughs> what do you mean? Why would you be on that route? Like, why would I... What reason would I sit there on that route if I only play Pika and only do Diploma? <laughs> oh my god, you're right. I, 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 I genuinely <laughs> didn't think about that. <laughs> Alright, Sandy, the first one to get through Brock. Um, Sandy about to start the first shop of the run. Uh, we're just going to buy some Great Balls, a um, couple X items, um, and some healing items uh, just to kind of shore up in case anything goes wrong uh, during the run. That's a good question, Kahuna. Like, can we talk about how messed up the route number ordering is in this game? Yeah, it's very strange. Good talk. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> runners are gonna make their way over to Route Three. Sandy uh, doing a, another little bit of RNG manipulation there. It might have been intentional, honestly. It might have. It might have been know. for the spinner cycle. Yeah, how the spinner was. <laughs> Let's see. So, uh, oh, there's a. Oh, 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 we my it. oh my gosh! Oh my god! Oh my god! We did it! Oh my god! We're so good. <laughs> Summon Charmander. <laughs> All right, that's it. That, I'm out. That we, we did it. <laughs> we peaked right there. That's it. We 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 have accomplished our goal. <laughs> Uh, Sandy switching to double greats here for this catch. Uh, Charmander, uh, not one of the easier catches to get, but um, double greats with a uh, raspberry oh. should be good. Oh no. Oh, we got tricked. Okay. Anyone who's ever played this game for the very first time, like 90% of people will do this. Oh, did, did that happen to Quo? Yeah. No. So on that one, there's a spinner there, and you also have the option to hop the ledge. But if you hop the ledge, hee hee ha ha, there's a secret trainer there that you can't dodge. Yeah. Sandy, also right... getting a sand true here. Ooh. Yeah, right before this, you learn, hey, I can jump down a ledge to pass a trainer. So then you get to the next ledge, and then you do that, and then they're like, nope. That's <laughs> yeah, one of my uh, favorite <laughs> teaching moments in Pokemon. <laughs> Environmental storytelling. <laughs> Yeah, Quo reportedly got distracted by the Charmanders. So. I mean, understandable, <laughs> I would too, to be quite honest. Well, that was a really low-level Charmander. So, uh, we'll see if Sandy opts to try to evolve this Charmander or not, but it's still, it's still quite a few levels away. Yeah, it's nine levels away, it turns into Charmeleon at 16. Um, each level up is about two seconds, so uh, it's about 20 second time loss to evolve that. All right, so now the question is, do you all believe we'll see Squirtle? Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it'll happen. We, it worked for Charmander, so... You know what, I think, okay, so Razor, Razor has gotten Bulbasaur. Sandy has gotten Charmander. So, so you know what that... Exactly, yeah, exactly. It's and gonna happen. It, it matches the, like, 
name tag color thingy. Oh my gosh, yeah, yeah, Sandy's just red, <laughs> Grace's, oh my god, yeah, yeah. or geniuses. All plan. The script writing, we, <laughs> we, oh, wait, 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 the, the luck they've been getting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, that RNG manipulation from earlier of, uh, leaving your, uh, starter trapped under the ledge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or not, or sometimes you don't, it depends on your seed. And you'll never know what that Pokemon that was about to spawn on Sandy's screen was. <laughs> eaten by the cup of It small. Hmm. Yeah, well, Sandy skipped uh, the bugs. Um, Sandy did make up for it with the Charmander. They do have Charmeleon marked as well, so uh, Sandy may be keeping that Charmander around for a little while. And uh, also picked up a sand shrew um, in that same patch of grass, so uh, that does cover for the missing bugs. Yeah, definitely, especially if you don't get Caterpie or Metapod at all. These nice early bonuses, you're really gonna help Sandy here. Mm -hmm. So, depending on uh, your Pika version or Eevee version, you'll gonna kind of do this section in a potentially slightly different order. Usually, Pika version fights the Sandshrew Trainer first and then kind of goes back and goes down the ladder that Razor's near. Uh, if you're on Eevee, you typically just go down the ladder first, uh, do your caches kind of in the basement here, and then come back up to be a higher level for Sandshrew. No, I wasn't able to see what our runners set their clocks to, so I don't know if we'll have any double moonstone action, but um, most of the time runners will set their clock to roll over uh, to midnight uh, while they are in this room that both Quo and Razor are in. Um, at midnight, uh, there is a slight chance that uh, items that were picked up off the ground will respawn, so you can't. You do have a shot at getting two moonstones out of this room. Mm -hmm. From Brazier's screen, I thought I saw both Paris and Clefairy in the room spawn like pretty much immediately, which is really, really nice. Um, in Mount Main, you typically want to catch three things, which is Geodude, which is super duper common, uh, Paris and Clefairy. So getting Paris and Clefairy to spawn like pretty much immediately in the basement there is very good. Razor picking up the Butterfree there, and I believe that Paris is actually a fairly fairly large size as well. Um, leveled up that Bulbasaur to 10. Yeah, I think it was glowing. It yeah, was, it was red. So... Ooh, Sandy getting it. Clefairy and Paris right off the bat as well. Oh, oh look how tiny oh, they and are. Glowing. And the glowing one. Oh, Clefairy gives a very good amount of experience, so getting that glowing bonus on the Clefairy specifically is really good. Sometimes Clefairy can just jump around forever. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> True. It just came from the trampoline park. <laughs> <laughs> Still bouncing. Okay, glowing Clefairy for Razor, too. That is really good. Oh, that's good. That should that should secure level fifteen for uh, Sandy and Razor. Yeah, um, you want to leave here at fifteen. Wow. Okay. The that just put the Charmander level eleven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, I'm a little concerned about Quo's experience right now. Quo had I think a level eleven Pikachu before going down here, and then got the bad bad Geo Dude cycle. So didn't very get very much experience off the Geodude either. Hopefully yeah. can uh, see maybe one of the, the bigger pink things. Would be very helpful for Quo. The requirement to enter Misty's Gym is level 15, so we do want to leave here at level 15. I believe I saw Razor get double moons down there too, although I'm not 100% sure. Oh yeah, he so. did. Okay, Razor thank you, Gata. Good Geodude cycle. It's a good Geodude cycle is it just kind of attacks immediately, and then right before the animation finishes, you throw the ball and you get an excellent. Sandy's having a nice long stare at this great ball. <laughs> <laughs> Who will win the staring contest?
great. You're getting jumped by another uh, Clefairy there. Like we're taking a look at Sandy's feet here. Hey, got the deer, dude. All right, and we're back. <laughs> yeah. Let me take a look at Close Tracker, because having only 11 Pokemon here seems pretty low for him. Has Geodude, has Paris, does not have Clefairy yet. No Clefairy. Uh, there are a couple bonuses you can get here, um, the big one being Chansey. Uh, Clefable is a 1% spawn, um, so you can also go for Onyx here. Onyx isn't terrible here. Uh, looks like Close is actually going for Zubat. Yeah, he's a glowing Zubat. You know, it is glowing, so we're gonna get that extra EXP, but Zubat's really hard to get any sort of circle bonus on. Yeah, he yeah. sways back and forth so much, it's so difficult to get it, and if you catch Zubat here, you... I mean, unless you're, I believe I might have seen somebody in the other race try to catch Golbat, but it's pretty bad. Yeah, Golbat is uh, not recommended unless things have gone very, very south. Uh, nice hypnosis dodge there uh, for Sandy. Yeah, I'm really hoping a Quo can get something else here. Clefable, Clefairy, um, Chansey. Uh, on, on, honestly, Onyx isn't too bad here either. Um, I I don't think Moon Onyx is a bad call if it spawns for you. Yeah, I mean, oh oh, that's Andy first. doing it for <laughs> glowing Clefable. It was at like the bottom of the screen, so in my mind, Quo had gotten it, <laughs> but nope, that's Chansey. <laughs> Gonna go for it. Yeah. Clefable, now it, it's because it's Clefable it came after the lore ran out, it is a lower level, which means less experience, but also going to be easier to catch, and Clefable's catch rate is pretty low, so actually having that slightly lower level Clefable is probably still good. Let's see how much experience this gives. Yeah, did either of you catch him with the glowing or not? 1300, yeah, so... It is, it is tiny. Tiny? Okay. <laughs> Keep 1300 experience off that, uh, levels, uh, Charmander is about to evolve. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually, to get Charmander yeah. from, like, level 4 or something all the way to, like, always 16 now. Yeah, so, uh, keeping this Charmander actually working out really well for Sandy. <laughs> Razor is a Helix Gamer. Good. Good. Yeah, Razor about to start the first Jesse and James fight. Yeah, for both uh, the Pik Pikachu and Eevee, pretty much the idea of the fight is uh, use your main Pokemon to attack and then use your secondary Pokemon to pump in a next item and do a little bit of chip damage. Oh, Quo going for Dome Fossil. Ooh. I don't know if I agree with that. Quo deciding to save uh, an eighth of a frame there uh, by picking Dome. Part of a manip. Razor looked like uh, got a, a nice two turn there. If you have a lower level, a lower EV, be a three turn. Razor has a 41 attack on their EV. That's 
pretty high. Uh, I know they're level 17, but that's actually pretty good. Ooh, getting uh, trolled by a hair spawn. <laughs> Yeah, so Raider and Sandy are both going to be leaving Mount Moon at level 17, uh, way above that level 15 requirement for Misty's gym. Uh, unfortunately, unless Quo gets something really good coming out of Moon here, uh, not looking set to hit that level 15 going in Cerulean. May have to do uh, Nugget Bridge first and then come back. Uh, no snack for Razor. Yeah, so if you leave Moon and you don't have Misty's requirement of level 15, you can kind of swap the order of things in Cerulean. Uh, you can do Nugget Bridge first. Uh, it's a little slower to do Nugget Bridge first, but um, it's not the end of the world. I think it's only like 30 seconds in time, maybe a little bit longer. It's like... Yeah, 20 seconds. Uh, also, like, you have slightly worse fights on Nugget Bridge as well. It's like yeah. 15, 20 in movement. All right, here's Quo looking for anything. Uh, nope. Oh, uh, decides that the Rattata is a good choice here. Yeah, I mean... Definitely casting a Rattata is, is nice for PXP early, just I don't know if that's... I don't think that's gonna be enough, especially missing that circle bonus. Yeah. They they just got to 14, right? Uh, I believe so. Oh, Ooh, Sandy with a <laughs> Mankey! Mankey was on their way to Cerulean City. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now let's see. Sandy, even with the Mist Caterpie? Okay, Sandy with a Mist Caterpie, and with that Mankey Catch, and with that Charmander Evolution, is now at 16 catches entering Cerulean. Without the, 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 the Caterpie line. Well, Sandy's gotten quite a lot of bonuses. Uh, the Charmander, the Sandshrew, the Mankey. The Clefable. Oh, we tried the Clefable, too. <laughs> yeah, that was a big one. Oh, it's got the whole squad. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, wait, the Clefable was a tiny one. Sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was tiny. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, Quo just went into the Pokemon Center to teach him move and now head into Nugget Bridge. Uh, Greta, our, our Pika expert here, please. <laughs> What's that move? That quote tie? I don't know about that, but <laughs> we I have got the Zippy Zap. <laughs> Zippy Zap is a very special move just for our Pikachu because we're special. And it is 50 base power, uh, physical electric attack, um, but it always crits, so it's like not really 50 base power. Like, it's, it's more than that, but you know. And it also has plus two priority, so it's gonna hit before basically everything that we encounter. So it is quite good, and we get stab bonus, and it's just, it's very good. Yeah, in this game, uh, both of the starters, they don't actually, they cannot evolve. Um, so Eevee, of course, has uh, 27 evolutions, I think, um, and it cannot <laughs> evolve like into that. any of them. Something like that. Uh, so Eevee instead gets a special move for each of its evolutions. So it gets a water move, a fire move, a fairy move, a grass move. Um, so Razor uh, just learned the uh, Kanto uh, evolution moves, the electric, water, and fire ones, um, and is going to use those on the bridge. Uh, it actually makes the bridge very, very trivial for the Eevee version because we have something to hit every single Pokemon on that bridge now. Honestly, like, a headbutt deals with most of the pokes on that good bridge anyways. Yeah. But... <laughs> I, uh, I actually use Buzzy Buzz for a lot of the things on the bridge. Oh, do you do the Buzzy Buzz spot one? Yes, I do Buzzy Buzz spot um, one. Yeah, that's yeah. why. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> yeah, so uh, on the e version, you typically, kind of through this, this section of the game, you run with four moves. Headbutt, basically slide. Bouncy Bubble and Buggy Buzz. 
uh, and there's a, definitely a lot of variance into uh, what orders people put their moves in. Uh, I think most people are doing a headbutt slot one, but um, I know Etiquette and Saige and maybe a couple others run a uh, Buzzy Buzz slot one instead. I found that it helps for most mediocre EVs. Because um, most average mediocre EVs aren't going to be able to two shot the uh, Raticate, or the, the Raticates, uh, I should say, in the run that we have to buzzy buzz so they slow them down. So it kind of helps for those couple fights where you can just kind of spam that. It puts double kick in slot one, which helps, which makes the Brock fight. Uh, I believe one input faster. Is it one? I think two, actually. Uh, yes, two inputs, actually. Yeah, because you don't have to go up. Yeah, you're right. Wow, another, like, 0.3 seconds for you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> save, save a couple frames. Uh, I'm noticing that Quo is one seeing the Sandra fight. Um, you have the option to either one see the fight and double headbutt with uh, Pikachu, or um, you can bring out the second controller and then use Otis Absorb to take uh, the Sandra out. Uh, Sandra has Poison Sting, which can poison you, and. Sand Attack, which, I mean, if you play Pokemon, you, you know Sand Attack. Very annoying move. Headbutt does have the 30% chance to flinch, though, so it's not, like, as dangerous as it sounds. Whoa, uh, about to reach the end of Nugget Bridge here. This is a little bit of a gauntlet of uh, five trainers. They all have one Pokemon. Um, on the Pika version, you're going to Zippy Zap almost all of them except for the Sandfru. Um, as Amber said, there's a couple strats you can do for that fight. Um, but on the EP version, uh, we have a, a super effective move for almost all of them except for the uh, the Meowth, which uh, any any move takes it out. Now it's our time to bring up that there's nuggets on the side part of the Nugget Bridge. <laughs> uh, Razor actually getting fake out skip there, which is really nice. <laughs> yeah, I'll never understand the fake out AI. I just kind of decides to go for it when it when, you know, feels like it. And you lose uh, like I've five seconds. I'm on very good pace. It always goes for it. Oh, yeah, yeah. The game has, like, it, it checks the end game time. And it will be, like, if, if you have, like, lower than 40 IGT, then it'll, it'll, it'll use Fake Out, of course. Ooh, oh, Cole getting poisoned here. You get to see the two different backgrounds of the same fight. <laughs> very excited so so if you if you walk in front of the the rocket here you'll get kind of a grassy background because you're kind of like walked onto the path but if you talk to the rocket trainer you're still on the bridge and you get the big bridge background for the fight it it doesn't matter it really doesn't <laughs> Yeah, actually, for most trainers in this game, we're going to talk to them, because uh, if you walk in front of them, they'll give you, like, an exclamation mark. That wastes a little bit of time, but for that rocket, rocket will give the exclamation mark even if you talk to him, so it doesn't matter. And Quo, unfortunately, we couldn't manifest Squirtle for them, so... Pensive. Did not manifest for Razor either, so uh, Sandy is our last hope. Yep, Quo just did, and Razor is doing uh, the Route 25 trainer skip. 
uh, you can just kind of walk in between their vision there because let's go trainer vision is how hot bunny. Yeah, some trainers in this game have eagle eye and will spot you from a mile away. Others are uh, very blind. Most are very blind. <laughs> Quo has made it to Bill's house. Quo mm -hmm. well, does still have to fight Misty though, and mm -hmm. the gym trainer in Misty's gym, so uh, still a little ways to go for him before he can leave the Cerulean section. Quo decides to save Bill. Yeah, you, you have to save Bill or else uh, you won't be able to advance past Cerulean. You'll just be stuck in the city forever. You do, like, you have this first cutscene and then you have to talk to the computer as Grace is doing right now. So if you're, like, not paying attention and you may just, like, leave by accident. Uh, Quo picking up the backup lure, um, as well. Uh, Sandy seeing a Venat decides not to go for it. Quo, squirtle on the way back. Squirtle on the way back. Squirtle on the way back. Uh, nope. Oh, that was... <sighs> that was really scary, Sandy. <laughs> okay, I'm glad I was looking at that, because I, I might have... <laughs> Girl, did you see it? <laughs> No. Okay. Only side you had to be just subject to that. <laughs> Sandy like walked up almost in front of the trainer and did the trainer skin. Yeah, like I feel like when you first start running this game, that trainer skin like seems so scary, and then like the more you run this game, the more you realize that those trainers like I'm, I'm starting to be convinced they literally don't have vision. Like their, I know their it, vision it, is like. It's like a tile and a half. That boy's vision ends where that shrub ends. Wait, so actually? if you like, yeah, if you like go between them, you can cut in front of him as long as that's where the shrub ends. Like oh if you're past gosh. that shrub. I really do have no vision. <laughs> yeah, they're they're blind. Uh, Razor coming up to Detective Evie. Uh, Evie is going to investigate this crime scene. Um, You'll notice those giant footprints on the ground. Uh, those were made uh, by this Team Rocket guy. Uh, right there, uh, his feet are uh, really weird. He only has three toes, so that's why he's standing in the corner there. He doesn't want to be bothered. I literally just remembered about that uh, that mystery dungeon like mini game in Explorers where you have to like identify who's coming in based on the footprints. Oh, yeah. I had no follow-up because I just thought about it. <laughs> Anyways, that's Andy well, also deciding to save Bill. Good choice. Yeah, we have a category on the leaderboards called Ditch Bill, which is uh, you get to this point in the game, and then when Bill says, will you help me, uh, you say yes. And then you leave. Good category. I know it sounds like a moon, but it, on, like unironically, if you're looking to like, you know, you want to just get started into this game, but you know, you're not sure, you don't want to commit to a three hour long run. Uh, Ditch Bill is a nice like 35 to 40 minute category that is uh, very easy to learn. Yep. Very easy to pick up. Yeah, it's our, our next tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Knock out a ditch bill tournament in a day. Honestly, I that's something I would I would unironically consider. <laughs> Sandy going through Detective Pikachu right now. Uh, again, investigating the crime scene. Those guys have a raspberry. I just noticed that. 
Like a real raspberry, but so big. Oh my gosh. It's like <laughs> bigger than the Pikachu. <laughs> they just have a raspberry in a basket. I know it's probably just like a perspective thing, but still. It's no, huge. it just actually looks like that. Oh, okay. I never noticed that raspberry in that basket, but I did notice that uh, uh, the eighth gym leader in this game, uh, for when we get to it, uh, the basket in their room actually has orange berries in it. Wait, really? Yes, I'll, I'll point it out when we get there. But, okay, okay. Yeah, it's it's really funny. Now, uh, Razor finally getting Ivysaur, so. Shoutouts to Ivysaur Gang. Where's Iron? If you're looking at uh, Candy and Quo at like pretty much the exact same point story-wise, um, Candy does have uh, a couple more catches than Quo, though. Meanwhile, uh, Razor really looks to have a, a little bit of a lead right now, already on Route 6. But, uh, definitely not a, not a huge lead. Anything can change. Yeah, we have a saying in, uh, the Let's Go community that, uh, splits are kind of irrelevant till around Sabrina or Koga. Yeah, just because of the nature of, like, you know, you can have completely different po- uh, completely different catch counts, uh, from run to run or between racer, so, uh, and, like, each catch, you, like, you can kind of guesstimate it to be around 30 seconds, but there's a lot of, like, a lot of variance into, like, how long getting a Pokemon takes. Sandy getting the immediate puppy. That is awesome, and it's a huge puppy. Big puppy. Yeah, Greta, why is the why is the puppy so important? Other than the fact that it's cute. Well, the puppy is our friend. And <laughs> Yes. It will be our friend for some upcoming fights where we'll use the second controller. And it also works as a nice backup. Oh, oh no. Razor Razor, razor just close. Yeah, about a pixel off. Yeah, it was of, uh, close. getting the vermilion skip. But, uh, yeah. these are another, this is another example of the trainers that are um, kind of blind in this game, or these ones kind of have eagle eye, uh, where if you kind of just walk between their vision, they don't see you. Um, not a big deal hitting those trainers uh, in Eevee version. We have a move that one-shots uh, both the Mons um, in Pikachu version. If you're going to fail the skip, you want to fight the girl instead of the boy. Oh no, the puff breaking out. I really enjoyed the Sandy and Quo encountering the puff on like the exact same frame. <laughs> I thought that was neat. Oh, yeah, Sandy. And he's lining themselves up and right through the trainer vision. So both Razor and Sandy doing their Vermilion shops now. Uh, this is a pretty big shop where they're going to be buying items for pretty much the next hour and a half of the run. Uh, they'll be getting Great Balls, Lures, maybe a Color 2, and some X items as well. This is a... Uh... I believe this is actually the largest shop of the run. We buy the most things here. Yeah, it's definitely the longest one. Right, and Razor finishing up their shop uh, ended with uh, ten or uh, twelve super potions. Candy ending with four poke dollars left. Very optimal use of money. Oh, Quo, oh, Quo just uh, barely. Yeah, that's really close too. Right. 
Yeah, it gets a little weird, I think. You would think you have to go right down the center of the path, but it's actually, like, very slightly to the left. So it's very, very easy if you try to just go straight, straight center that you just hit the person on the right. Yeah. So we just saw, uh, Sandy, um, was the 100th visitor to the SSN. So, uh, they got the sailor outfit. Wow, I think Razor was the 100th visitor, too. Man, what are the odds? Whoa, 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 wow. <laughs> <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so lucky. That's the show, but by the way, the argument if they did at the start of the run, that's what it was for. <laughs> that's what it was for. Yes. Get the sailor outfit. Yes, very important. Uh, sailor outfit lets you look like a sailor, and it's cool and fun. Anyways, Quo doing his shop now. Uh, meanwhile, Razor and Sandy going to be doing the uh, rival three fight. Um, both the between Pikachu and Eevee version, kind of the idea behind this fight is pretty much the same. Um. Just use two controllers and take out each Pokemon in one turn using a combination of attacks and X items. Uh, Eevee version will just be attacking with Eevee, while a Pika version will get a little bit of help from the puppy on uh, the Oddish. Sandy heading level 21, gonna teach a very important move, Thunderbolt. Oh, Quo is also the 100th guest to the uh, SSN. Oh my gosh, that's like the luckiest thing I've ever seen in this game. <laughs> Alright, so Razor getting through uh, Rival 3. Sandy uh, about to be on the final Pokemon for Rival 3. And they're gonna learn a very special, special technique. Uh, Cutty Cut. Uh, Cutty Cut. Uh, it involves uh, looking at a bush and it scaring it enough to just fall apart. <laughs> As you can see uh, by how the uh, sailor or the captain here shows how it's done. What a coincidence! I also fall apart when people stare at me. <laughs> but yeah, one nice thing in this game is that you don't need like specific gym badges to be able to use like these moves so it allows us to just uh leave surge to a little bit later because uh it would when we have a much more powerful pokemon it will be uh, a lot faster of a fight than if we did it with eevee or pikachu right now yeah it's uh, pretty uh pretty open world actually once you get a uh, cut yeah it's really nice actually i like the fact that you can kind of like even in gen one you can there's there's a decent amount of flexibility in, like, gym order, what you do, but in this game, it's even bigger. Alright, Razor, uh, Razor unfortunately did fail the Vermilion skip, but, uh, it's not all bad, uh, on your way out, you can just, uh, hug the wall for whichever trainer, uh, caught you, and you don't have to worry about, uh, having to fight the other one. Um, Greta, what do you think about- Oh, go ahead. You'll see Sorry. a Vulpix on the way out, too. <laughs> Greta, what do you think about the Pokemon Razor just caught? I think that it is perfect, and I still want 50 of them. Okay. <laughs> Sandy, uh, getting Vermilion Skip on the way out as well. Oh, yeah, that's really nice. Yep. You only have to do it those two times. You won't have to pass through there again, so... Sandy gets that nice time save. You have to do it three times in AOP, though. Uh, some? So, I think on some ranks you have to do it four times. Oh god. I think. I don't like 
I don't like doing it once. I could be wrong. I could be mis- I honestly, it's been a while since you've done AOP. <laughs> um, oh shit, I'm really enjoying Quo having the uh, puppy follow him. <laughs> Look at the puppy go. go. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't there a random Firestone pickup in a rock tunnel? Yes. Yeah. I don't know I how it works, but... I mean, either. I have no idea. Yeah, I think you have to have, like, a fire type, like, following you for it to work at all. Or oh. something like that. I think, you know, like, how they can go into bushes and find things? I think it might be something like that. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe Quo's planning to get early Arcanine. Genius threat. <laughs> okay, so uh, on Route 9, where Sandy and Razor are, and where Quo will be shortly, you're going to see some pretty big differences between Pika version and Eevee version. Uh, Eevee version typically will just one controller of the fight solo Eevee. While on the other hand, uh, Pika version will be getting some help from uh, the puppy friend. I actually really like the way uh, Pika version does both of these fights. Typically how it works is that each of them have two Pokemon, uh, and Pikachu typically takes out one of them, and the puppy takes out the other one. It's nice teamwork, I really like it. Razor's gonna go ahead and evolve their Jigglypuff, turning it into Wigglytuff. Uh, Jigglypuff's a great uh, Moonstone evolution. Uh, it does not learn a move on evolution, uh, whereas the other three Moonstone Evos do. Uh, and it's also a good Pokemon to evolve almost as soon as you get it, because Jigglypuff does learn a move on level up, so if you can evolve it before it levels up, uh, you get to skip a, a move learn from Jigglypuff. Yeah, those move learns uh, on level ups cost about two seconds, and the move learns on evolutions cost about five seconds. So it's uh, quite a few seconds if you just move front of all that off right away. Sandy deciding to do the same thing, evolving Jiggly into Wiggly. Yeah, so I um, believe Sandy also got double Moonstone. Yes, yes. So both of them have evolved uh, Jigglypuff, and then I think both of them are planning to try to get a uh, Nidoran male and evolve that to Nido King as well. Now, all three runners have Nidoran, uh, Nido King marked, so seems to be the plan. Yeah, Nido King, uh, a really good Pokemon, kind of for the uh, Rocket Hideout section as a as a, a partner, and especially on Pika version, you really want some sort of partner friend, whether it's a Nido King or a Nido Queen. Or else uh, some fights start becoming really slow there. Uh, Razor, unfortunately, having a two controller camper Drew. Um... Yeah, I didn't quite see what happened there. No. Uh, I think Razor just went for the double, uh, the two turn headbutt. Um, didn't get it, and took a lot of damage from Crunch and, uh, Super Fang. Ah, okay. So now both Sandy and Razor are heading over to Route 10. A lot of Pokemon to get here. Oh, those are, like, two good ones there for Sandy. A good one there for Razor. Oh, that spear always did not want to be there. No. <laughs> it's it's going to find Trutini. <laughs> so true. Uh, Razor deciding not to catch the Nidorina. Uh, you can catch the Evolve Forms here, but they're not oh super... Oh, oh that poor <laughs> spear. Oh, no, oh, no they... we're just going to get the other one then. Yeah. <laughs> A poor Spearow's stuck. Yeah, so, uh, what catches are we looking for here? 
So we are looking for both of the Nidorans. Sandy getting motion controlled there. Uh, we're looking for both of the Nidorans. Uh, Rattata, if well, they haven't caught it yet, which I believe each uh, I believe each player already has a Rattata. Um, so you'll want Raticate instead. Uh, Raticate's a lot of experience. Um, and uh, Spiro and uh, Krabby here is just a, kind of a nice bonus uh, if it pops up, but it does take four levels to evolve. Very good, but you've forgotten a very important sixth Pokemon, which is Chansey. Uh, this this is the last place I would go for Chansey if it spawned. I don't know. You can get Chansey in, in the mansion and and skip a rare candy. I don't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's true. true. Get no turnarounds on Champ. Oh, and it looks like Razor didn't have Urtata yet. Probably just marked it earlier once it popped up on the screen. Okay. Uh, Quo YOLOing the spinner pass there at the end. Yeah, that girl is like kind of, it's kind of hard to see where she is while if you try to just like pass her without stopping. It's very easy to get caught. Sandy about to do some party management here. We're going to swap out the Growlithe, the Gloom, the Wigglytuff. Move that Nidoran into slot two. All right, let's see what else is Sandy getting with the Spiro as well. So I think both for, for both Razor and uh, Sandy, this has been a very good Route 10. Yeah, I think uh, Sandy's just poised to leave. Um, I don't think Sandy needs anything else here. If Raticate spawns... Uh, they can go for it. Uh, it is a lot of experience uh, at this point in the game for the Raticate, but uh, it's not necessary, and you can grab Raticate later on if you really need it. Yeah, Razor, I think, got, like, all five things that you'd want here. Um, Sandy, I think the only other thing Sandy would potentially get is Eradicate, but there's honest... You don't need it, and there's so many other places you can also get Raticate where Sandic's not even going to stay around. Um, taking a look at Quo's tracker right now. She has Needle Female and Needle Male. Um, does not have Spiro, does not have Raticate, doesn't have Krabby, so yep. Quo is going to opt to Repel here and then Relore. This will just reset the spawns on the route if anything will show up. Or it's gonna be the exact same Pokemon Quo already has, that is. <gasps> wow. Yeah, so Quo just deciding. Uh, so there's two ways to reset that route. You can either repel and then immediately lure, or you can go down, fight the Team Rocket member, and then walk back up. That was wonderful the Route 10 of all time. Yeah, I mean, there's still, like, so much chance for Quo to get, I mean, between Raticate, Spiro, and Krabby, it's probably, like, 45% or 50% per spawn to get something good. So that was very, very unfortunate. And yeah, you'll see runners a lot here just kind of waiting for four spawns. That's just because you get to the maximum number of spot things that can spawn at the same time on the route. And you want to wait for everything to spawn in as well, because this game has um, some interesting mechanics where uh, if you catch a Pokemon, uh, the next thing that spawns is more likely to be the thing that you just caught. So um, we want to catch lots of different Pokemon in this run, so uh, you wait till all four things are spawned in and then catch something. Sandy getting a bit of a scary text box there, going right beside yeah. a, a trainer that you do not want to fight. <laughs> but Sandy making their way to a rock tunnel. 
Yep, so uh, I, I assume here Razor's gonna head right into Rock Tunnel after this fight, while Quo's probably gonna go back up and look for more things. And Quo's got... Honestly, Quo's not too bad. I think they just need Spiro or Krabby. Uh, they can leave. Yeah, also can use a uh, Eradicate as well, or it's just gonna be... Wow. Alright, so Quo just that... said nope, and then uh, bailing. That was one of the route tannins I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. And Quo grabbing the so back bad. Balls as well. Uh, Sandy getting instant uh, Rhyhorn too. Rhyhorn is a friend. Rhyhorn lets us go faster. Yeah, so there's a little pack of uh, backup Great Balls there in case like your uh, catches, in case you miss a few catches or just need some extra Great Balls. Uh, there's a couple extra items up there. There's a super potion that's up there if you, you know, want some extra healing items for later. Cool saying in chat, I'm putting this run up for adoption. <laughs> yeah, this run, uh... This is, this is a run. This is, quote, cool, you have a bit of a rough time here, especially with the round 10 spawns. Those were one of the worst I've ever seen, to be quite honest. Uh, Sandy getting a Graveler to spawn on them, which is, uh, that's a fine spawn to get, uh, pop up on you. Yep, Graveler is a very nice amount of experience, so, uh, Sandy will gladly take that. Mm -hmm. Yep, so there's a lot of things you can get in Rock Tunnel. Uh, typically, the five things you usually want to get are Rhyhorn, Graveler, Zubat, Machop, and Q-Bone. You also have the option, there's the rare spawn. Uh, if you're not Sandy, you can pack a Charmander here. And if you're, uh, if you get a nice 1% oh, nice. Kangas gun spawn, you can also catch that. Uh, do not catch the Onyx, <laughs> please. Tunnel Onyx is very bad. Speaking of bad oh, things no. to catch, oh, I go that. I was going for it. All right, let's see how it goes. You know, one thing that is nice about Goldbat is that it doesn't move around, like, as erratically as you bet. You got oh, in. Got it. Got in. That's all that matters. Wow. No. Uh, nice Rhyhorn spawn there for Razor. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, both Sandy and Razor getting early Rhyhorn, which is really good because pretty much as soon as you get Rhyhorn, you speed up your movement by like 150% or something. Yeah, so, as you can uh, see on Sandy's screen how much faster uh, Sandy's character is moving than the support character. Yeah, and I think you can see just looking at the the catch counts on the the trackers on screen right now, just how much variance there can they can there can be in catch counts. Uh, the three of them are like pretty much at the same spot story progression wise. But we're seeing uh, an eight Pokemon difference between Razor and Quo. Just showing that uh, what a big difference a good <laughs> Route Ten versus a bad Route Ten can make yep. at this point. Uh, Sandy accidentally depositing the uh, the Rhyhorn. Is now going to evolve into Nido King. Double Nido King evolution. But who's going to finish first here? I think I think Sandy is like a few times ahead. Yeah. Oh, the frame. Meanwhile, Quo getting that nice EXP from Graveler. Uh, Quo, Quo could definitely use that here, for sure. It's 
Sandy coming up on, uh, I think this is Pokemaniac Ashton, uh, or Winston. Sorry, Ashton's the first guy uh, in here. Uh, he has a Kangaskhan. And this Kangaskhan likes to go for Fake Out turn one. So uh, we always use this first turn to set up an X item since we can't move anyway. Yep, there's the Fake Out. We're gonna see Headbutt and I assume a double kick here then? Yeah, let's see if you should next attack then. Mm. Yeah, definitely depending on your level and your stats, uh, I think in, in both both games you can there's different options you can do for this fight there is a version of the fight on eevee that i think the game knows when you try to do it where you can 2c the fight and x attack machop and brick break and one shot it but i think the game knows when you do that because it always fake outs the machop when you do that you know what like actually the first time i've ever heard about that strat <laughs> I've never thought about that before. I've I've gotten it once, and every other time the game just doesn't want me to get it ever again. Oh, so. oh uh, I didn't see what Sandy went back for. Oh, Cubone, okay. Yeah, Cubone, yeah, a little tiny, so it uh, can be hard to see. I am curious how uh, Sandy's going to deal with that Onyx on the right there. It's, uh, Onyx is, Onyx's hitbox is huge, and really? that's kind of right where Sandy wants to go. Yeah, the only thing Sandy's missing here is Zubat, so um, Sandy might just repel and just not reapply Lure. Uh, we can get Tower Zubat if we really need Zubat. Yeah, Zubat is the most common. Or we get. just buy it. That was really nice. Wow. Yeah, that was that was clean. Yeah, uh, Onyx is bad catch. Don't get it. <laughs> Moon Onyx some... is fine. Tunnel Onyx is not. For... Onyx would be fine, but for some reason, Onyx, because Onyx is like a billion feet tall, the game just like does not auto center your throws properly. And so getting an excellent on Onyx is like almost impossible. Oh, now Ray, you're getting his Graveler. So all three of them getting the nice big EXP there, which is nice. I thought I saw a Cubone on close screen, but I'm not sure actually. Quote did not go for it, whatever it was. There is the Zubat for Sandy, so that's actually everything Sandy needs um, in Tunnel. Right, so you're also heading level 28 and getting Double Edge. Uh, if you get Double Edge, like, kind of at this point in the run, very worth it to teach because now you can uh, save a lot of X items and one-shot uh, quite a few things through Rock Tunnel and Rocket Hideout. Let you go for some very different strats uh, later on uh, after tunnel. Razor waiting on the spinner there. All right, double edge is kind of a double edge sword. <laughs> yeah, okay. if you get double edge early, the downside is that you're going to use up a lot more healing items. Yeah, exactly. Razor reapplying lure didn't need. I don't think there's anything else we need here unless uh, Razor wants rare char. I mean, you can't really bank on rare char, and Razor's experience is already so good. Yeah. And Razor's catch count also looks pretty good right now. It might have just been an accidental press. Sometimes you can auto. Rushing. Yeah. And we go. Looks like Quo getting the uh, Cubone now. Okay, is there any of the standard spawns that our runners are missing right now? Oh, um, don't worry, they can take me like a whole minute to scan the trap. Oh, uh, oh, is still missing Rhyhorn. Oh, 
Really? Oh my gosh, how did I not notice that? <laughs> and, uh, if they have it, um, they have not marked it, but I don't think Quo has Rhyhorn. Uh, not a big deal to miss Rhyhorn in Pika version. Uh, we'll have a ride Pokemon a little bit later uh, for uh, uh, that we can use to replace Rhyhorn, but um, Eevee version really, really wants Rhyhorn. Sandy just about to make their way out of Rock Tunnel. Let's see, we're getting a 1 to 18 tunnel with 33 pokes. Uh, quite solid. Very good time. And Sandy coming up on the Rival 4 fight. Oh, Razor almost Razor, there. Razor, okay. Scared me half to death there. Oh my god. Rare char, rare char, rare char, rare char. Rare char. Rare char. <laughs> all right, Each, all three of our writers getting uh, at least one Kanto uh, starter, which is uh, uncommon to say the least. No Squirtle though. No Squirtle this time. No we had we had our one opportunity this tournament for Ooh, a uh, breakout brutal catch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Switching to ultras. There we go. Yeah, that's a good idea here. Yeah, if you've done the um, Sophia fight, the Cadaver girl in here, uh, she actually gives ultra balls. Um, so you can use those uh, for for catching. Um, usually, rock tunnel is kind of the last place we'll do catching before our next big catch section, uh, unless there's something like in the grass that you might need uh, on the way to Celadon. So uh, you'll want to be on Ultra Balls uh, anyway. Razor now making that out of Rock Tunnel with- uh, Other Razor. Charmander for Quo. Wait, oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah, second one spawn. Wow. Yeah, the thing with, with Charmander, since Charmander's in that rare slot, is that uh, unlike every other encounter, like there's no mechanic for it to increase the the spawn rate when you're on a chain. So that's just another like 1%. I just learned that recently, actually. Yeah, I think uh, spawn mechanics in this game are, are pretty funny. Yeah, I, I didn't know... I didn't know that's uh, that was a thing for rare spawns. I thought it was just for every spawn in the game. So uh, I learned that like a week ago. There's no such thing as a chancy chain in this game. Well, I mean, you can chain chances. It's just that it, it doesn't increase. Yeah, like, it doesn't, it doesn't right work it. the way chaining works on every other Pokemon in the game. I think you can actually chain chancy in Cerulean oh, Cave. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, in cave, yeah. <laughs> not the, like, because it's not a Not anywhere spawn. where it's actually yeah. a rare spawn. <laughs> yeah, because it's a secret spawn on almost every route in the game. Yeah. When's sure, really. a surfing Chansey? Wait, like, you mean, like, Chansey spawning on the water? Yeah. Or you mean, yeah. okay, I, I thought you meant, like, you know, kind of like the surfing <laughs> Pikachu. Well, it could be that, too. You could find it on, like, a little surfboard in the water. <laughs> Oh my god, imagine you're just like on, <laughs> on the water and you just see like a chancy on a surfboard. It's like waddling about. It's like coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> it like walks from the grass to Route 21 and just walks on the water. No sea skim. <laughs> And so with uh with double edge on Razor's side, uh we will not see any 
Um, ooh, Razor's Eevee dying there. That's not great. Uh, but Razor getting double edge. Uh, that means we will not see any metronome shenanigans here, unfortunately. Yeah, I think uh, Razor Eevee was in full health already, then got hit by Raichu, then got hit by the recoil damage, so kind of what we were talking about with, uh, you know, double edge recoil making you have to heal more, and then you also have to be very careful of making sure that you don't faint. Luckily, at the end of the fight, uh, it's actually a lot more okay for your EV to faint as you post it in the middle of the fight. Yeah, if your EV dies at the end of the fight, it's not the end of the world. You just kind of heal and uh, move on. Sandy picking up a uh, fire stone that will be used on Growlithe uh, a little bit later to get the, the big puppy. Also opting to catch Raticate here. I By the think... way, there is an Abra on Yeah, Sandy's I was about screen. to say, I think that <laughs> Wait, I didn't yeah. even see it. Oh my I gosh. I saw it, literally, it was like barely on the screen. Yeah, I, just, I saw, I saw like a little bit of yellow and then I looked down at the replay and I was like, yep, that's that's it. How are you two so good at seeing responds <laughs> like that? Oh my gosh. It's only when I'm watching a run. When I'm, when I like, when I'm playing, I'm like, wait, there was an Abra there? What? <laughs> I'm like, credits also, just like Andy getting completely robbed on an excellent throw there. Oh yeah, I agree. I thought he's that was still got in. Where, where is this? It's on the right. Oh, oh, is that like just outside of her vision? Oh I don't know if that spider's gonna see Sandy on the way. Yeah, I don't here. know either. Be okay. All right. I know her her vision is like not that long. So, this might be fine. I guess we'll find out here in a minute. <laughs> you just like run for dear life as soon as you get out of yeah, here. Just, like, yeah, I, okay. I, I, I just feel like straight holding up. Left. Just yeah. start, or holding right. Just start holding right. Yeah. Hold a direction. <laughs> that is not <laughs> where the center is. <laughs> in my opinion. Yeah, Sandy's already, already holding. Oh! Nice, okay. Yeah, Sandy was already <laughs> holding a direction because uh, the Pokemon model moved after the. Uh... Oh yeah. Yeah, I was wondering how you knew that, and then yeah, that makes sense though. <laughs> Sandy going around the gambler who has a Rhyhorn that only knows, I believe, Horn Drill. There's a there's an Abra there for Razor too. Oh. I don't know if Ra Razor I think... not to go for it. Yeah, typically on EV versions, you don't really want to get the Firestone there, so it's not worth taking the time to stare at the bush and watch it fall apart. Yeah, it, if you if you end up going in that grass, it's mostly because your catch count is very bad, and like maybe you missed like Abra, Vulpix, and Jigglypuff. Another Abra for Sandy. <laughs> Alright. Sandy going to talk to this Chandler lady, and for the low, low cost of 10,000 Poké Dollars, uh, she will set every Pokémon in the game's nature to whatever you tell Ooh, her. 1% Night Tails. Oh, Razor going for it, too. Going, going for it? Question mark? <laughs> there's, there's an Abra. Oh, no, that... oh. oh, is there an Abra? I, did, I yeah. literally just got the... the... Oh, okay. <laughs> Dang. That makes more sense. I'm kind of hoping, to be honest. I thought it would have been kind of fun. would have been so nice. It would have been, been yeah, fun. They didn't, go for the, uh, they didn't go for the Firestone, so... I mean... Yeah. That'd be awesome. Not biased or anything. <laughs> oh! Oh! Quo? Oh, hey! Speaking Quo? of... Oh, are we... Are we doing this? I think we might be doing this. Are we doing this? <laughs> honestly, I'm kind of down for this, honestly. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what Arcanine's catch rate is. Oh my god. I have no clue, but we're on Ultra Great, so... Yeah, honestly, I can't be that bad. I've, like, never seen this here. Come on. Excellent. Excellent, come on. <sighs> One, two, three. Yeah. Oh, let's go! <laughs> Look wow, at that experience. Ooh, wow. 
that really helped out Quo. Quo's uh, experience was definitely hurting. So, uh... Yeah, that, that was great. And now Quo doesn't even have to pick up the Firestone here, or go into the <laughs> menu, or really have well, to pull out the You could the get graph. Flurry on. Yeah, I was about to say, like, we can go <laughs> oh. on 17 and go for Flurry on. Don't ever go for Flareon in Pikachu version. <laughs> it's, it's such a trap. Alright, Razor uh, over here teaching uh, Glitzy Glow, uh, one, another one of Eevee's special moves, um, and setting uh, their nature to modest uh, for the rest of the run. Uh, Glitzy Glow is psychic, that also sets up Light Screen. It is a very powerful move. So, Arcanine just went straight into post party. And now we Yumi. Yep. <laughs> and we're zooming. Sandy getting through the Hypno fight. Razor about to start the Hypno fight. This fight with Double Edge, this fight's a little bit better um, than it is uh, without Double Edge. It's just a one turn, 2C, uh, X attack, Double Edge, just one shots the uh, Hypno. Yeah, it can be, uh, if you don't one shot this Hypno, it has uh, Hypnosis, everyone's favorite move, so uh, definitely want to be dodging that. There's the double edge, just taking it out. And Sandy now heading down to fight uh, Grimer guy. Uh, Team Rocket guys don't have names, so. Just... Okay, Sandy gonna offer two controller this fight. Uh, Grimer has minimize and disable, and I believe can also poison you if I remember correctly. So. Uh... Uh... Uh, Sludge, Minimize, Disable, and Harden. Or it's, uh, moves, is this moveset? Yeah, so with the 2C fight, now you can just, uh, one-shot the Grimer. Don't have to worry, uh, particularly about Minimize. I have definitely had runs where, uh, I go here, hit it down to half health, then it uses Minimize, and then I miss, like, five times. So, uh, avoiding that is nice. Yep, and Razor with Double Edge is going to be able to pretty much just two turn this fight here. Uh, depending uh, on Razor. Razor's really close for uh, getting through this outspeed Voltorb. But yeah, I know yep. Razor had good speed. Yeah, normally you don't uh, outspeed that uh, Voltorb, and the Voltorb has Sonic Boom. So if Razor didn't have as good speed as he does, it could have been a dangerous fight, but. Uh, Worked out fine for him. Right, Sandy's now going to look around and see if there's something they can climb up on. Uh, this office chair looks great. Uh, on this concrete floor. Definitely what could, safe. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, we're also, like, destroying an air vent. You know. I'm sure Team Rocket didn't work very hard to, like, put that air vent over or anything like that. Whatever, they're the bad guys. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> Just casually vandalizing their, their hideout. Yeah, you know, it happens. Yeah, actually, you know, looking at the where Razor and Sandy are right now and their catch counts. Uh, 
These two are extremely close to each other. Yes. Uh, Razor one Pokemon ahead. Mm -hmm. And probably about like 45 seconds behind. Uh, they are very close. Route 17 will be very interesting to see for these two. Honestly, these upcoming fights for them will be very interesting to see. <laughs> uh, there's kind of a, a little mini boss gauntlet here of three fights. Jesse James, uh, Archer, and Giovanni. And so, uh, you'll be seeing some different strategies there, depending on if they're Pika or Eevee version, and kind of depending on what Pokemon they have, what staff they have, etc. So I'm curious to see what our runners will do for those fights. <laughs> yes, Spider, neutral Archer. There's neutral Archer and bad Archer. So there's no good Archer. No. All my homies hate Archer. <laughs> Arrays are healing up to full health here. It's uh, You might think that like 6 HP doesn't matter, but uh, trust me, it, it comes up on Eevee version. <laughs> oh yeah. So Sandy going to be doing the Rhyhorn fight here. You know, I try to use Rhyhorn drill run while you uh, help out. Ooh, with, uh, Sandy getting paralyzed. That is quite bad. Uh, we're going to heal that not with the Paralyze Heal. We don't usually buy those on Pika version. Mm -hmm. And get rid of the Arbok, so it's fine now. And hopefully also one-shot the Weezing. The Weezing has a very good defense. So even with the draw run and the helping hand, it still has a decent chance to live. Yeah, yep. and it does live. Okay. Honestly, we think having like really good defense here ruins so many like strats that could be good on this fight. It really does. Like you could probably do some funny like a grappler. And right as Sandy finishes, a uh, razor begins. Uh, races on Eevee version. Uh, Eevee version, you can also opt to do kind of a similar strat to what Sandy just did with Rhyhorn. Uh, you can also just opt to use uh, Eevee's Footsie Glow. Let's see. Uh, looks like we're going to be nope. seeing the Rhyhorn fight today from Razor. Nope. Uh, this one is very dependent on how good your Rhyhorn is. Um, it's a lot better if you caught Rhyhorn early in Rock Tunnel. Mm -hmm. The difference between a level... 24 Rhyhorn and level 25 Rhyhorn for this fight is uh, pretty big. Yes. Oh, we're getting level 27 here. That attack on Rhyhorn is not amazing, but we, we've got a shot here. Oh, especially, yeah, we're going to go for Glitchy Glow Drill Run. As long as you don't get fully paralyzed, it should be a decent chance. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, so the red one fight's kind of technically a little better on Eevee version because um, you can glitchy glow and draw run uh, Weezing instead of having to just use Rhyhorn. Aries are going to go ahead and heal off that uh, paralysis uh, from the glare. I'm uh, going to use a super. He said, uh, Razor was hasty nature? Yes. Ooh, that is going to make this next, uh, the fight after Archer, uh, very, very scary. Yeah. So, well, first, like, if Razor goes for that strat, uh, there's a lot of different strats you can do for, uh, Giovanni 1. Mm hmm. First, uh, Sandy's gonna make their way on Giovanni. Pikachu strat is two controller and pump a million X items into Pikachu and also helping hand to take out the Persian and the Rhyhorn. Yeah, we're at like plus 10 when we attack this Rhyhorn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, meanwhile, Quo is going to be starting his Jesse James fight. Let's see if Quo's also going to be doing the Rhyhorn strat or a different one. 
Uh, Quo is doing oh. the old strat of just a bait Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Greta, would you like to talk about what Quo's doing here with the Jigglypuff? Um, well, you see, our, our friend here isn't going to last very long. No. <laughs> <laughs> it will be sacrificed so we don't get absolutely owned. By, uh, the Arbok. And yeah, Quo reminding us in the chat that uh, he does not have Rhyhorn. So can't even do the Rhyhorn stat here, even if he wanted to. Yeah, I was also going to comment that uh, Quo also does not have Clefairy. Clefairy is just slightly better for the bait strategy uh, because it comes with a lot more friendship. Uh, the Jigglypuff does, which mean it means it can live with Power of Love uh, on the first hit of Arbok, so you might uh, get another free turn of uh, setup. It's like actually hilarious. I've never thought about that. <laughs> How much friendship does Clefairy come with? Uh, I think it comes with 120, maybe. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. It's like it, it's like right at the threshold for uh, Power of Love. Anyways, Razor is on Giovanni 1. Uh, Razor looking like going to do the standard Sizzly Slide Strat uh, on minus oh, it's defense. It's actually higher, it's 140. Which is scary for finding defense because uh person they Slash. And slash can do a lot of damage. Yeah, um, uh, Razor might want to heal here, but I think Razor's just going for it. Oh no, uh, oh. decides against it. Yeah, backs out. <laughs> Don't blame Razor. I think uh, a crit here would probably kill Razor. Yeah, and Slash is one of those moves that has a high crit rate. Uh, most, uh, almost every move in the game is, I think, a 1 in 24 to crit. Yeah. Uh, Slash is a 1 in 12, I believe. Uh, Razor also getting Kingler off this fight. Yep, Sandy doesn't need Kingler on the party, doesn't need Nido King in the party anymore. Just gonna get rid of them. Bringing in the Avra and the Zubat to get those evolutions there. So, bringing in the Puppy. Bringing in our pupper. We're gonna let the pupper follow us around for a little while. Deciding not to lure too. Um, Sandy's yeah. are pretty good. I will bring this up anytime I am on commentary, anytime before this, and anytime after this. Uh, luring for tower, I, I firmly believe does nothing. For, I firmly believe that you just get like the exact same spawn rate with or without a lure, and I don't know why. It just does that. It, there's it no like evidence like of it. that. Yeah, there's no evidence or like anything like we found in the game that would indicate that. I just based on vibes, you know. It just it just feels that way. Like even if you lure, you still don't see Gasly. And even if you don't lure, sometimes you just see like ten of them. Really, it's a double-edged sword. So all those ghosts disappear. Sandy taking the long way around, uh, oh. deciding not to wait on that spinner. Yeah, it's only like a second slower or something. It doesn't matter too much. Yeah, using a lure, uh, it does make Pokemon come at a higher level, but Ghastly will always come at a level where it will evolve in a Haunter in one turn in Tower. Think. Yes, that's correct. I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah. The good thing about this fight too, uh, there's two required trainers here in Tower. Um, I don't, I don't know their names off the top of my head. They're both channelers. They both have one Haunter. Luke uh, and someone else. 
Yeah. Jennifer? I, think, I just like I pulled that out of nowhere. I know Ruth is the first one. Yeah. If it's actually Jennifer, I'm going to be so impressed because <laughs> I've read this game so much recently and I don't, I don't remember. I pulled that um, out of nowhere, so we'll find okay. out. <laughs> uh, ooh, Tower Zubat. Uh, but th those two fights on Pika version are a little bit better than they are in Eevee. Uh, both those Haunters know Sucker Punch. I'm so smart. Um, can waste a turn. Oh my gosh. And uh, Zippy Zap <laughs> goes before Sucker Punch. One nice thing also about uh, using having Pikachu Zippy Zap here versus uh, Eevee, which will Glitzy Glow, is a, a little thing called Turnarounds. Uh, who, who wants to explain Turnarounds? Okay, um, I will. Great. <laughs> so, turn around, you're basically, uh, once your Pokemon reaches 150 friendship, uh, it, you, it will start doing something called turn around, which basically oh. means what? if you... Oh! You rocket <laughs> That's where it is. Nice! <laughs> but I was running for all costumes, uh, run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for the sailor outfit and how the, the arc rocket one. Uh, but yeah, you get turn every time you use a super effective move or heal in battle, your Pokemon will kind of turn around and do like a little like, like two second animation. Uh, it never occurred to me that Pikachu saves so much time. And 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 yep 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 you're right, Sandy. Are <laughs> you you're right, uh, Amber? Just <laughs> you don't need a lure. It do it doesn't do anything. It's just, just that easy. Spawns anyway. Uh, Sandy using a Nanab. I uh, respect it. Um, it uh, Ghastly can kind of jerk around a little bit. Um, not as much as Zubat, but uh, it does move around quite a bit. Yeah, Ghastly is quite a bit of a jerk. Ooh, Razor taking that spinner pass out a little tight there. Perfect. Look at the outfit. <laughs> oh, uh, Quo dressing up? Quo well, planning to join Team Rocket here. Yeah, styling out here. <laughs> yeah. Well, hoping to get to the top of tower and beg Jesse James to let him join. We'll see how that works out for him. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be cool with it. <laughs> I did notice that uh, Razor did see a Ghastly on screen on the earlier floor, but it was pretty far away, and Razor's Pokemon count is so high right now. No reason to take all that time to head back to the Ghastly. No, but he has to get it, so he said 40 pokes and then can get the Ultra Balls. <laughs> Yeah, I could lose like 25 <laughs> seconds getting those ultra balls. Yeah, sure. It's worth it. And Razor um, does not need a lot of catches uh, at all. Yeah, I would say your average amount of catches at the end of power is like 34, I want to say. Oh, Razor's in the ghastly. Yeah. A little bit closer than before. <laughs> Uh, so this means Razor only needs to catch four, uh, five Pokemon uh, to end the run here. Is it that many? Three. Oh, no. Uh, they just unmarked. Uh... Yeah, I would uh, assume it's going to be like Star, Pony, Doduo, and then the Gifts. Yeah. And a couple other things, maybe. I don't know. I can't read. <laughs> yeah. So for Razor, because Razor's on Eevee version, uh, Pony is pretty much required. Uh, Doduo is also very nice for safety, but I, I wouldn't say required, but you definitely want to get that. And then uh, Staryu is going to be uh, the main for the last hour of the run, so that's a required catch. I was looking the at the uh, out of 50, um, so I was counting everything as part of the 50. Not what the plan number was. So yeah, uh, Razor just needing three things uh, to end the run. Uh, to be done with catching. Oh my. That was scary. Oh, I missed it. It was the... the spinner was facing up and Quo came from above. 
speaking of scary, uh, the Jesse James fight on, uh, <laughs> Eevee here can definitely be scary. Um, yeah, this is one of the hardest fights, uh, in the run for, uh, Eevee. You can just die here. Ooh, Arbok being- oh, wow! Double targeting the Rhyhorn there, like, very nice. Yeah, uh, if Rhyhorn dies, it's not a big deal. Um, you just switch into something. Uh, it just means you're fully set up. Oh, Razor also faster than the Arbok, right? Wow, yep. okay. That's <laughs> that, that nice fight makes you paying off. Very clean. <laughs> a lot of level up here, Razor. Oh, Rhyhorn, no! That's okay. Yeah, you just send in anything and um, take out the wheezing. Sandy getting the uh, pewter crunchies and the tea from Brock. Look at Pikachu's outfit on clothes screen. It's so cute. <laughs> so adorable. Look at him. Aww. I like how his little ears like poke out of the hat. Yeah, it was custom made. <laughs> Team Rocket made it just for Pikachu. <laughs> yeah, for when they captured it. Yeah. <laughs> Here's your reminder to look at the art on the wall in Fuji's house. I noticed it yesterday, and it's so adorable. I That's know. Nice. Hey, so you may wonder, why don't you just catch the Snorlax? It's right there. Well, it's a lot of problems. First of all, uh, Snorlax is a static Pokemon, meaning you have to defeat it first before you can catch it. And uh, in the fight, it's not like not only has like good defenses, but also raises its defense. In the fight, and then it's not like it's also like a pretty bad catch rate. So uh, yeah, it would just be a lot of time sink for literally just one catch. But it would be a nice experience. But yeah, also, it even gives more exp than anything in the elite four. Wait, actually, that's so funny. <laughs> also, though, exp doesn't like does not matter here. So. Okay, yeah, we're done using the Pikachu and the Eevee, but we don't quite have our next main yet. Sandy skipping a lot of things here, not grabbing Pidgeotto. Yeah, I'm very surprised to see some of these skips from Sandy here. Not getting Duck either. Uh, I, uh... Let me look at Sandy. And... Um, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, what are we... Yeah. You just need... Is, is it that few catch? I, I know Sandy has a pretty good catch count, but I don't think that good. Yeah. That you would skip Duck, especially. I can understand Pidgeotto. Pidgeotto can be a somewhat annoying catch. Dude, oh, but Sandy Duck has please. Pidgey, so that's why we're not going for Pidgey. Okay, we're going for Rapid Ash, though, which is... uh. One of the catches. I mean, double ultra and silver rash, uh makes it pretty likely, unless you miss the circle bonus. In this case, we are sad, but it might just get it anyways. Unfortunate. Close. Alright, gotta go for it again. There we go. Alright, that should be in. Um, I think that's going to put Sandy at an odd catch count, unless there's a Ponyta that ends up spawning. I think Sandy might have already been on an odd catch count before, but I'm not quite sure. Meanwhile, yeah, Razor getting the Pony. Nice for Razor. That's good. Yeah, on... On Pikachu, it's a little harder to fix an odd-numbered catch count, but on Eevee, um, you can cut or add uh, the Firestone uh, Vulpix to kind of uh, change your catch count from an even number to an odd number, or from an odd to an even. 
Um, that matters because most Pokemon in this game are two-stage evolution lines, so you'll catch them and then they'll evolve once. Um, so if you need to cut some one thing, you want to be at an even number so you still hit 50. Um, Sandy yeah. evolving pretty much everything in their party now. One thing I am wondering, is I, Razor did catch the Ponyta, right? Because he is still riding yeah. the Rhyhorn. Typically, uh, as soon as you catch Ponyta, you uh, would do a oh, menu so that you can ride I Rapidash. See. Okay, I see what happens. Okay, so Sandy is done catching. I think they just need the star. Just the star? Oh, okay. 546, 47, 48, 49, 50. No, they need star plus one. Okay, so Star and Grimer. Grimer. Yeah. Star oh, so Razor getting no duo there. Nice. Razor should be gotten on Route 17 here. Yeah. So, Star plus one for Sandy. Um, always want to make sure that the last thing we catch is Star. Make sure it's still in the catch count. Um, yeah, when you have a high catch count, especially like Razor's, Sometimes you might have to be worried about like catching too many things and then oops I, I actually caught more things than I needed. <laughs> yep. Sandy does still have some evolutions to go through. Um looks like we do need Haunter and Marowak. Yeah, Razor guys, yes. So Sandy can opt for either Grimer or Tentacool. Uh, pretty sure we're going to go for Grimer because Tentacool is awful. Yeah, Gr Grimer is a much, much easier catch than Tentacool. For some reason, in the water, they only allow you to do one controller catches. So, uh... yeah, that's cool. That's a fun thing they did in this game for no reason. That just makes things harder. You can only fit one person on the surfboard, so... I don't know, I mean... Chansey, you could borrow that stuff for from Chansey. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, Quo probably lo looking for a lot more things than uh, our other two races here. Gets the Dodeo pretty fast, which is nice. Yeah, Quo's gonna want the Dodeo and the Pony, and uh, I assume the Psyduck as well. Razor getting through the little gauntlet of trainers there. One thing I am noticing is that Quo has 48 planned right now, and already has Tentacool as part of that plan. So, uh, I'm very interested to I'm see how Quo gets to this 50. The Flareon. <laughs> Could've done it. could still do it. Oh, he still has the option. Yeah, there's another <laughs> Firestone in, in the mansion that's pretty close to your path. Oh, there's a pony for Quo. Good. Quo's still having 48. Need to find one more. Did Quo sell the fossil? Oh, I'm not sure, actually. I wasn't quite yeah, paying attention to that. They don't have the fossils marked, but if they didn't sell the fossil... Could be an option. Do. Could also go for something like uh, Magmar and pick up the Aerodactyl gift as well. Um, yes. Aerodactyl also... not really a great... Uh, option, but uh, it does allow you to one controller blue um, if you have some extra X attacks. Okay, Sandy with the 1052 CP star. Uh, it's pretty average CP uh, from Sandy. And a nice excellent throw right there. Not get motion controlled. I thought I saw Sandy pick up the Waterstone, right? Did you, did you go see it? 
They definitely went on the island, so... They definitely I'm went on the island. I, I know they, they went on the like island. Muscle memory. <sighs> also, hello, raiders from the other race. Congrats to Headstrong. Oh my goodness. That race is so close. <laughs> I can't believe how close that race was. Yeah. Welcome, and we got a pretty good race going on here. Uh... Sandy and Razor have both been uh, pretty close this entire race. Both of them have a pretty high catch count throughout the entire race. Uh, I think Sandy has a little bit of an edge right now, but uh, that's where we're at. Meanwhile, quo has been having some uh, pretty unfortunate spawn luck kind of throughout the entire run. So uh, definitely going a little bit rough for him right now, but uh, still making his way through. Uh, Razor got his star, I did oh, not see I, do, I do not agree with that spawn game. 10.39. Oh, like a little below average. Not yeah. quite what you want to see. Uh, that's a star, man. That's a star. And with those evolutions, Sandy officially at 50 catches. Uh, we'll need to pick up the two free gift Pokemon at the end, but uh, that should be all 50 for Sandy. Yeah. Uh, and Razor, I believe, is also oh, set. There's for the 50. Eevee. Now's the time. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Are we doing, doing it? it? There, there it is. All right. Yeah. I hope he wasn't uh, listening and being like, yeah, that, that's a good idea. I mean, it's an idea. You, yeah, honestly, you okay. Uh, so they're deciding uh, Let's Go Pikachu not working out for them so well, so they're going to switch to uh, Eevee version here. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> Silver Razzies makes Eevee not that yeah, bad of a catch. Not, it's not that bad. It's like, uh, what is it here, like 80% uh, probably? To, uh, catch mechanics that we found out recently, like Double Ultras just making things better. Yeah. Razor getting uh not not very good of a star here. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty middling special attack and uh, Razor saying min special attack in chat. Is that min? That's min. This is what I'm saying. He's great. That's min special attack. <laughs> yeah, that is min. <laughs> that's what we're. Some help. Oh my gosh. That's like so low, or or if I saw that on a run, I'd be like, did I did I synchronize? Uh, oh my god! Oh my god! Whoa, whoa, oh, oh, oh my god! Whoa. <laughs> so a uh, demonstration from Quo about how those trainers have no vision. They do have vision, but it's like super duper short. Yeah, those uh, those trainers have one tile vision. They're all very yeah. blind, but still very scary to watch that. Yeah, that that in particular was really scary. <laughs> Uh, Sandy has good speed. Uh, that, that's what I can say about Sandy Star. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is the special attack on love on on Star Ray? One. T oh, okay, that's better than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like one oh eight. It's still really bad, <laughs> for sure. Oh, yep, yeah, Sandy's going to repel through. Uh, a good portion of mansion to not have to worry about things spawning on top of them. Uh, meanwhile, Razor is on the uh, head fight. So for this fight, what Razor is doing is uh, bringing out Starmie and Doduo. Uh, bringing out Doduo will bait Electrode into using Thunderbolt on it, meaning uh, Starmie is completely safe. Meanwhile, Sandy doing the other style, and you bring up Rapidash. So, um, Electrode is still, I believe, favored to Thunderbolt Rapidash, but it's nowhere near guaranteed. Uh, if it Thunderbolts Starmie like that, it's fine, you typically live, but if you get crit or you get paralyzed, it can become a problem. Yeah, also seeing uh, that Sandy's star might not have the best special defense. Oh, really? I did, I did not, not look at that special defense, but... 
No, normally uh, Ted will bring you uh, into either the low yellow or the high red, and that brought uh, about into the mid red. So special defense might not be super great there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good point. All right, Quo Gen his star. N44. War, eh, not great. CP. You never know where those stats could be going though. It's a very nice star. Didn't jump around like at all or attack much. Shady getting a little close to that spinner. Which doesn't yeah. matter. All of our runners just taking uh, some of these spinner passes just a little... A little too close. <laughs> yeah, I can make it a little... A little nervous yeah, watching. Taking the heal bad as well. Nice. Uh, ditto. Yeah, ditto is uh, not a good catch. <laughs> it's it's, it's really bad. small, so it's hard to hit, and it love to it just like bounce around. It has a very funny jump animation. <laughs> True. Ditto is quite funny. I'll give it that. It looks like Quo is probably looking for a tentacool. Yeah. Gonna try to surf around here. Do not seem to be getting very lucky with spawn luck. I did pick up the super lore. Mm -hmm. I believe. Yeah, I think he just used the super lore but oh, ran yeah, out. Okay. Oh, now they're the regular lures. lures. Uh Tentacle does finally spawn for them though, so. Yep, so Quo's gonna catch the key of the tentacle, and then the Grimer, and then that should be it for catches for Quo. Then the rest of its evolutions get Pokemon. We'll still need to get uh, the Firestone for Eevee. Yes. I can't remember if they grabbed the first one. Uh, I don't think he did. No. So Razor on at a quiz time. Taking this very safely um, so you don't accidentally uh... answer the wrong question. I think both of our runners so far who've done uh, the quiz time have uh, chosen uh, false for whether uh, TM27 contains Tombstoner or Tombstoney or Tombstone whatever. Tombstoney at this game. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see close star. Uh, uh, the special pack is okay. That's possible. Beat. Speed's not great, but uh, I don't think that bad. Yeah, that speed's like okay enough, like not that big of a deal. And the uh, one shotting the nine tails there with uh, very low special attack. That's the only Pokemon that can live if you have very very low special. Mm -hmm. I'm doing three plus one does help. Um, but sometimes your special attack's just too low and it'll it'll still uh, live and get off something like a fire blast or something. Yeah, 3 plus 1 referring to the fact that uh, typically runners now will use 3 rare candies right when they get Staryu and then 1 after Sabrina as opposed to what people used to do before which is 2 after getting Staryu and then 2 after Sabrina. So Sandy actually heading to Erica first instead of Surge, which is, uh... Indicates early shop. Yes, my favorite strat. 
Uh, it is very good in race, uh, race setting, uh, especially if you're low on healing items. Yeah. So the idea behind early shop is that um, you are able to kind of shop for like hyper potions earlier instead of having to do it after self co. You can do it before self co, uh, which is really nice because uh, in the bad archer fight you have to do in self co. Uh, there are some situations where having hyper potions there are really good. Um, yeah. the, re the reason you have to do Erica first and then Surge for this strat is because you want to shop before you go to Surge. But to buy Hyper Potions, you need Forge and Badges. So uh, you do Erica first to, so that you're able to shop for the Hyper Potions. And despite Razor having Double Edge early, uh... Did not go through a lot of healing items. So is deciding to just do the normal shopping route. Yeah, I think most people just like tip don't do early shop in general. But uh, I really like early shop and uh, I taught Sandy how to do early shop. So glad to see I them do it here. I do not know how to do early shop. I got lucky with how many X specials I was able to buy. <laughs> just ended up working out. So I do yeah. I do a very weird menu in Eevee where I pick up uh, uh, I pick up the guard spec, which lets me get a couple extra X items instead of having to buy that. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So because I pick up the guard spec, I don't have to use that. So the last input I do for the menu is X specials, and I just buy whatever the max is. Usually it's like twenty something. Mm. So it ended up working out, but... So yeah, the Sandy and Razor's kind of revs will sync back up until they enter Sabrina's gym, which will be in uh, approximately like 15 minutes from now. Well, uh, Starmie did not get targeted by the Thunderbolt, but targeted Ponyta instead, which is nice. And I'll get through this fight pretty cleanly, no problems. Alright, yep, Sandy going into the shop. Uh, see what Sandy's gonna buy here may give us some indication on, on what their plan is for the late game strategies. She will buy some ex special defenses. Will not buy an X defense though. Uh, I'm not sure if Sandy did buy an X defense earlier, but if he wanted to do the one C, so. at least I didn't see it in their bag um, during the early game. So yeah, um, I didn't see that. Indicates two C Giovanni. We mm -hmm. had um, a bit of a menu moment there. <laughs> oh, what happened? I missed it. On the map, you just. It had a real hard time selecting Salatonsony. Honestly, map <laughs> menuing is not easy in this game. It is I hard. I'm going to do it on a Joy-Con. I don't think the testers actually played this game on Joy-Cons. Didn't they use the Pokeball Plus instead? Probably, yeah. yeah. When's the Pokeball Plus tournament? <laughs> no. <laughs> I will not be just trading. Can you buy me a new one, someone? <laughs> I yeah. don't think I've charged mine in like two years. <laughs> I bought this game. Uh, 
Yeah, so also uh, we were talking about uh, terrible trainer vision. This gym is just the perfect example of it. You walk directly in front of all these trainers and they just don't see you. Yeah, they're too relaxed to fight you. Yeah, this, uh, this gym is... Uh, this looks scary. If you've never seen this run before, this whole sequence looks really scary. We're all walking in front of all these trainers, but uh, they're totally blind. They, they can't see you at all. What is great, because honestly, imagine having to fight all these trainers. Oh, God. That's just... That would, <laughs> that would be like, so bad. That would add, like, what, like six minutes to the run or something? <laughs> Walk in front of, like, four people in this gym. Sandy finishing up the Lieutenant Surge fight. Uh, what is Sandy? Okay, Muck is the only thing that's missing on Sandy's side. That's not a gift mon. Uh, mm -hmm. Quo is missing Duck, Muck, Jellyfish, and uh, Quo is not mock marked Star yet either. Yeah, so Quo is at 44. Right now, I believe. Uh, only thing Razor has left to evolve is Do Duo. Uh, Razor. Yep, just Do Duo and the two Gift Mons uh, for Razor. Yeah, no X defense in that bag, so uh, we'll be seeing 2C on Giovanni. Yeah, and that's for the, the uh, last Giovanni fight in the run, not the one upcoming in Shelfco. Oh, yeah, spoilers. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, spoilers. spoilers for this guy. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, spoiler alert if you've never been to Kanto, Giovanni's the eighth gym leader. All right, Razor and Sandy are uh, back to being uh, almost synced up. Uh, Razor just a little bit behind. Mm -hmm. We do have to remember, though, that Sandy has already done uh, their shopping, their final shop, while Razor has not yet. But uh, you never know how self go can swing things, especially Bad yeah. Archer. Our, uh, Bad Archer is coming up. But first, uh, the blue fight. So Sandy not getting a uh, do duo here. Normally for this uh, upcoming fight here with Blue, um, for some reason Blue wants you to fight him uh, before you take on Team Rocket. I don't know why. Um, doesn't really make a lot of sense in the context of the story, but we usually use do duo for this fight. Uh, but if you don't get it, um, you can use Rapid Ash for it because we just need a way to hit this Exeggutor um, because this Exeggutor is the only Pokemon in the game we cannot hit for at least neutral damage. You know what I just thought about? This the Rapidash. If you catch just the Rapidash, it has Fire Blast, right? I've never actually uh, like thought about that's that. A great question. It okay, does. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> I know sometimes with like if you catch the evolution on it, it will have like a slightly different move set. So it just yeah. uh a great example of that for those in chat is uh, Starmie is actually a 1% on the same route we get Staryu at. And you might think, oh, that's cool, we can skip the Staryu catch and save time on the Evo and all that. Uh, no, <laughs> do not catch Starmie. It, well, there's uh, several reasons not to catch Starmie, but, you know. Yeah. Uh, it does not contain the same moveset that Staryu does. Not even close. Oh, I don't know what happened on Razor's. Uh, but Razor Do Duo died. Oh, tried to use Do Duo and yeah. Yeah, so uh, Razor has not evolved into Do Drio yet. Um... Yeah, Do Duo is a range on the Executor to one shot. 
And so I guess Razor just missed that. I used to use Dodo a lot, and then I, like, one day, a couple weeks ago, I looked up what the range was on, uh, for Dodo, and uh, now I'm probably never gonna do that again. <laughs> I've really gotten bad. really lucky with it over the years, apparently. It's, like, not good. Yeah, it is, uh, it's a very bad range. It's not great. It's guaranteed at 30, 30 IP attack. <laughs> Maybe just been super lucky with Doduo catches. Anyways, Archer, uh, Sandy got the best turn one. Uh, Greta, would you like to talk about the Archer fight? Uh, well, as you can see, um, there's a random Cubone here that is, uh, our rivals. So I think this fight would probably be a lot better if we could control both Pokemon on our field. Um, but a lot of this is kind of up to chance, and just whatever happens, happens. Um, things can go pretty bad pretty quickly. Yeah, this is widely considered, uh, the worst fight in the game. Um, yeah. It's not a hard fight. It's not difficult. It's just you can lose so much time on this fight. And firstly, you could also save so much time on this fight. So oh. how you look at it? <laughs> yeah, if you'll notice, there's a lot of uh, kind of lag uh, in this fight because it's a double battle. Uh, the camera just kind of pans around doing who knows what uh, while it's waiting. It's so like on. awkward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And if Razor also got the best turn one, which is self-destruct, no protect from muck. Love to see it as the potential for a three-turn fight. Meanwhile, Sandy just finished off, uh, I believe, a four-turn fight. Uh, yes, four-turn. It's time for Flareon. <laughs> Flareon, Flareon. We have all Flareon? Yeah, let's go. Oh, I think we got a week to protect. Let's there. go, Flareon. It's Sandy gonna make their way through uh, Silphco, just a couple teleporters. I uh, am very lucky with the. Oh, no, deciding to go below. So, uh, Rival decides that uh, you've had enough of Archer, so he'll fight Archer now. Uh, which is good, because we don't want a game where we'd have to fight Archer a third time. Yeah, I still think it's so funny how Trace is like, Alright, old man, you're dealing with me! <laughs> you know, Archer's like, probably 30. Insert the Club Penguin <laughs> 18 plus image. <laughs> Do not search Club Penguin 18 plus. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy starting uh, J and J four. Uh, this fight, uh, the last time we fought J and J, the fight was very very difficult. Uh, now it's pretty trivial. Uh, and there's Muck for Sandy as well. Oh, it's Sandy getting the flinch. Uh, so that will be the final catch, or the final evolution for Sandy. Uh, Sandy just now has to pick up the two gift mons to get to 50 to enter Koga's gym. Uh, Razor uh, has all 50 uh, marked, but does still need the two gifts. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Razor are about to start J&J4. Uh, Sandy is about to start Geo2. Oh, I noticed that uh, Razor did mark 
the gift mods, even though uh, he doesn't quite have them yet. Uh, he will be getting them very shortly after this fight. Yep. Sandy just needs uh, to actually uh, acquire the gift mods, but both Razor uh, and Sandy uh, have the required 50 catches to uh, enter Giovanni's gym. Yep, and Quo, uh, I'm not sure how many Quo has, since he hasn't uh, marked things in a bit. I know he does have at least Starmie and Flareon that he hasn't marked yet, so at least 45. Um, next time Quo checks their party, I'll have to take a look at it. I'm looking at the little Oddish plant and the art in the background there on Sandy's screen. Oh my god, the plant. <laughs> I love so the prize the for defeating uh, The prize for defeating Giovanni here is a Master Ball, which is super useful since we're not going to catch any more Pokemon for the entire run. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully no one's miscounted. <laughs> If you did miscount and you end up at 49 and get kicked by Koga, uh, you can just go catch anything and chuck the Master Ball at it. Sandy will be going to the seventh floor in Silk Code to pick up Lapras and probably a rare candy. And uh, they'll be heading outside of Silk Code and talking to a uh, NPC to get Porygon. Dynam got Venonat on the other race and candy to Venomoth. Uh, that's curse information, I didn't even know that. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's one way to hit 50. I, I, I guess so. <sighs> I don't know what we did to be too short, but... This <laughs> is the thing that just happened. All right, Sandy went and got the Lapras, uh, picking up the Porygon here. This is the final gift Pokemon. It's also the final chance uh, at a shiny in this run. <laughs> nope. All right. Unlucky. And now, because Sandy did early shop, they will just go around this way and head right into Sabrina's gym. Razor getting the new Lapras. And Sandy about to do Sabrina's gym puzzle. Um, the solution to this puzzle is actually exactly the same as the Gen 1 solution. Is it a puzzle, or is it just go on the right thing and hope that it's the right one? <laughs> I think it's supposed to be a puzzle, but it's like How, more though? memorization. <laughs> There's no puzzle. <laughs> well, you gotta like figure out where to go. I guess it's more of like a maze. Erica's gym's already a maze. You don't need another one. <laughs> True. Quo oh, on Bad Archer. Uh, hopefully you can get a good turn one, just like Razor and Sandy did. But that, uh, self-destruct no-protect. We'll see if that actually uh, Razor happens. Razor having exactly 69,000 Poké Dollars. Oh, nice. That is, is beautiful. That is amazing. That is cool. I don't, I don't know <laughs> how that worked out, but... Alright, Sandy starting the Sabrina fight. Uh, if we get light screen skip here... 
Um, normally, Sabrina will go for light screen turn one, uh, but if it doesn't go for it and it doesn't go for it on turn two, we actually can save a few a uh, few turns. That is not a great turn one. Uh, either Quo has the worst special defense of all time, or Quo is not full HP going into Archer. Uh, either one is quite bad here, because, uh, being this low HP, if you, especially if we get Thunderbolted again, is, uh, not good. Okay, did get self-destruct turn two, which is actually, uh, very good here. Yeah, especially if the Cubone attacks. Oh! oh that's the worst. Uh, Sandy is now through the Mr. Mime. Uh, now can just scald everything on um, Sabrina's team. Well, except the Slowbro. We have to T-Bolt that to kill it, but... It gets Sucker Punch on the Cubone there, which is nice. Instead of uh, Starmie and Cubone take Cat Eradicate. So... Quo did end up getting that four turn fight. Very nice. Um, did they all get four turns? I don't actually quite I so. remember. Can't remember Razor's fight. I think Razor also got a four turn if I remember correctly. I mean, it might have been five for Razor. I'm not sure. I know Razor did get a, a protect from the 117 special for Sandy. Yikes. Yeah. Uh, the Dragonite is going to be an interesting one. <laughs> Razor uh, on Mr. Mime now here. Let's see what uh, he gets. I'll save the light screen. I was doing a practice run yesterday and I crit this Mr. Mime with one turn of uh, light screen left. It's time to see if Sandy did the thing. Razor did not have speed here. Uh, can just heal, I guess, or that works. Too well, now it doesn't really work. You have to heal anyways. Uh, Razor oh, just bring up two controller. Uh, that works too. That works. Yeah, I mean, Alakazam doesn't actually hit that hard unless you have uh, if you, unless you got your special defense dropped already. So. Uh, well, I think like any it's... attack will do at least 16 damage. Yeah, but Razor can just heal, and then yeah. even two hits from Alex Sam probably wouldn't kill, but... It, it's a yeah. weird situation. Just play it safe. Yeah. Especially in a race setting. Mm -hmm. Alright, and Sandy has done the thing. Sandy has... Yay! Uh, Yay. He played the game correctly. <laughs> Good news. Are you implying that people that don't have 50 here are playing the game incorrectly? Uh, if they're doing Kick by Koga, then they are playing correctly. Oh, I thought you were implying that, like, if they're playing Kick by Koga, that's an incorrect way to play the game. No, 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 no. <laughs> if you're playing any percent no mount skips, you've uh, played correctly. All right, it's coming up on Caden. Caden is, uh, Caden's kind of the real gym leader of this gym. Uh, this fight can troll you. Okay, GG. No minimize. And that is, that's Caden. <laughs> yeah, the thing with Kogi's gym is that every Pokemon you face in this gym has protect and will use it, uh, very willingly. Like that. Yeah, Koga's, uh, Koga's gym's full of BGC players who like to protect on the turn they're about to lose, so... I can't remember if it was you, Amber, who said it. I know someone said it during commentary, and it's something I never thought about. 
Um, if you get minimized during that fight, you can 2C and just stomp with Rapid Ash. Uh, I might have said it at some point. I didn't I remember, definitely did not I don't remember who said that, on though. comms where I was like, oh my god, that's so smart because Stomp doesn't miss if they use Minimize. But yeah, that's an option. It's, uh, it's, it's slow, but it'll get you through the fight without, you know, in like, like dying. a race, I, think I think I'd do it, but in like a PB attempt, like, no shot I would ever do that. Okay, I didn't notice Razor went back to the shop. I'm not exactly sure what happened there. Maybe he just forgot to buy something. I wish I was paying a little bit more attention, but maybe maybe chat can help me, please. I'm not okay. entirely sure, yeah. Greta to you Nope. Okay. Chat. <laughs> yeah, chat, why did Razor go back to the shop? Oh, oh, that like didn't buy the XP oh. in the first place. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. That's oh. very important. We do need XPs. Okay, okay. I, I understand what has occurred in the past few minutes now. <laughs> yeah. Razor also succeeding in getting 50 Pokemon? Playing the game the correct way. <laughs> According to Shizai. Playing the category the correct way. Oh, okay, sorry. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll just playing the category that's, that's the correct way. That's not playing the game correctly. <laughs> no, I just work his body. Don't worry. Exactly. <laughs> Alright, so Razor about to start the Caden fight, um, as Sandy finishes up Koga. Uh, this is still a pretty close race, and I think, uh, I think, um, Razor still has a chance, uh, based on Sandy's, uh, possibly zero special attack Starmie. Uh, it's like, two, probably. I mean, it's, yeah. I don't, I think zero gets you, like, 108 or 109 special attack when you uh you're when you're the 46 army and sandy had 110 but i mean still not great that's not very high uh special attack getting the safari set so uh quo uh picking that up as well for their uh, clothing collection. Uh, Sandy getting pushy push here. Uh, that is the uh, equivalent of strength from the original games. Uh, and now it's time to head on to uh, not use the card key. <laughs> yeah, we're going to use... Uh... Put up repels, and those repels are going to be uh, up so for the rest of the run. Uh, <laughs> we do need to heal. All right, now we can now we can move on. Wait, it's... can you get explosion? <laughs> I was not paying attention. Oh my god! Yeah, their HP was I very low. Oh my! Oh how did that? How did I not? Not did nobody it. notice? <laughs> I they saw just it. I didn't say anything. <laughs> it's just like, like, it's like so rare. That's so likely. And really good, too. You save, you save the turn. Yeah, so Explosion is the best version of the Koga fight, as long as it doesn't crit and kill you. I was too busy doing slots in chat to pay attention, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see it either, so. Uh, Razor uh, going through the uh, Koga fight right now. Uh, gotten Protect on, I believe, two of the Mons so far. And Razor is through Koga. Meanwhile, Quo just did his shopping. Going to be heading into Sabrina's gym. Quo well, going to be doing the uh, not puzzle here. Sandy making their way to the final gym of the run. Yeah, very funny how going up 
riding a rapidash up right one to uh Ferodian is faster than flying. I was thinking about that yesterday. I'm like it, what, what's even funnier to me is that like doing that is faster, but then it, when you're in Celadon after Erica, flying to the city you're already in is also faster. Just go to show, like how big Celadon City is relative to like Paladin Viridian. If you have a good enough special attack, you can just double Psychic this fight, but unfortunately, uh, Sandy, with the low special attack, can't go for that, so uh, we do have to do uh, Psychic Scald here. Uh, Sandy already summoning second player. What are we doing here? <laughs> it's so fun that the second player... Oh, get... okay. <laughs> oh, that's genius. You can the second player to block. Oh, okay. Well, Sandy I... said in my stream last night they had some cool movement tech for this, and I was like, I'm interested, so... That uh, is that's quite fun. Cool. I like oh, that a lot. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I believe Quo did get light screen turn one, which is the standard. Yeah, setting up the X speed. Andy threw Samuel. Sandy, you all. <laughs> Sandy, uh, turning right. that guy back around. So there's two trainers here at the end. You could fight either one. Uh, we picked this guy because he doesn't have uh, protect, which I think the sand slash does. Yeah. Uh, so we don't fight sand slash guy. We fight this guy. Uh, it's one turn. And now uh, Sandy heading into Giovanni. Surprise! He is the final gym leader. Oh my god! Yeah, look, look at his little bowl on the side. Look, those are orange berries. Oh, let's look tasty. Uh, orange berries and raspberries. Yeah. I'm glad you remembered because I totally forgot when you mentioned <laughs> that two hours ago. I like just remembered as Sandy entered the gym. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I got to point out the uh, orange berries. Giovanni has yeah. three orange berries. That's 30 HP he can heal uh, yeah. if he needs to. Quo hasn't marked anything in the bit, but uh, I believe Quo does have 50 now. Unless something has gone horribly wrong, but... No power of love save on the Rapidash there. That's actually good. We do not want the Rapidash to uh, survive uh, this fight. Um, it's an automatic 20 second time loss if the Rapidash survives just because of the extra inputs we have to do for a double battle. Sandy about to level up here. Uh, oh, actually, it doesn't matter. Sandy's playing Pika. I was just thinking, like, what the speed was, if you could skip X speed on Rival, but... Forgot it's Pika. You can't do that. Yeah, would not have been able to anyways. Yeah. Uh, right, right here. I think it was 123, 137. Yeah, I think so. Meanwhile, Razor is, looks like he's going to be doing one controller, Samuel. Uh, simply it's in a hydro very, pump. Very scary fight, one controller. Oh, oh we are also not at oh. full health. Okay, the, we're bringing out the second controller. Okay. Did we... Did Razor forget to heal? 
The Thunder Quack and the Eraser all got an explosion and I somehow didn't notice for a second time. <laughs> that would be so funny if that happened. I do not think that happened. Oh, okay. I'm not sure how this we got to the same tree, to be honest, but... Alright, uh, Razor now healing the Starmie up. Alright, uh, Quo gonna be, uh, doing the Caden fight right now. You don't want to see minimized. Please hit, please hit, please hit. Thank you. All right. right. We're through. Whew. That's fine. We take that. Scary, but we're through it. Yeah, that muck has minimized, protect, moon blast, and toxic. So, uh, a very fun moveset. That definitely yeah, does not run to trolling. Caden has very weird movesets on his Pokemon. Uh, the Beedrill has an outrage, if I remember correctly. Angry B. Outwork is what I use when I see a B. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sandy's starting the final rival fight. Yeah. Razor looking like he's also doing the 2 C Giovanni. I wonder if two seeing Giovanni is just faster. Um, so... Okay. Saves like two turns, right? Yeah, it, it, in a fight, like in the fight itself, it's like the exact same amount of time as one C. Pretty much the only time you really lose is that you have to, like, you always have to menu after Giovanni to revive your Rapidash. But also you have the time save of not having to buy an extra if you're commit committing to this battle already. So it only loses like a few seconds overall. Actually not bad. Yeah, I definitely recommend this unless you're going for a top time because uh, if you're doing 1C, you have like multiple chances to get crit by uh, Doug Trio. Yeah, you have to take, I think it's three earthquakes. Yeah, if you get crit on the very first turn, you usually live, but it's still, uh, still not fun. Sandy now making their way to the Elite Four and Victory Road. Yep, and uh, Victory Road is kind of where the relevance of the uh, no Mount Skips name comes up. So, Mount Skips are basically a way that you can use either Rapid Axe or Air Dactyl to pass straight through a, a trainer's vision in one frame. Uh, which those are, you're not allowed to use that to skip trainers in this category. Uh, we'll see if Sandy just decides to have a little bit of fun and just does a skip and then goes back to fight the trainer. I hope yeah, they do. It's fine. If we only had Dawson, um, and then uh, someone just completely random came into the community uh and was like hey is this a known glitch and then showed a video of them skipping juggler nelson and we were all like whoa what yeah that was really funny it was just like a completely random person just like nobody had known and then i i, I don't yeah, even know if it, i've seen them since they came in the discord and we're like <laughs> i think i found a glitch in let's go and we were all like oh sure show the video or whatever and then we were like oh Whoa, how'd you do that? That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that was the start. Well, because we had found, we had known about Dawson's Cube for a while, but uh, everyone kind of assumed that it was kind of had to do with like the weird kind of uh, terrain around Dawson. But, but no, you can just do that on other trainers. And we've actually found a couple that uh, you can skip uh, as well that we just don't fight in the run. Like, um... I don't remember her name. Uh, she's the trainer before the, the judge function in the box, but uh, uh, you can skip her with Rapidash as well. 
All right, Sandy unfortunately uh, did not get the KO there with uh, Hydro Pump. Um, I don't know what the range was, but I know I know with zero special attack, it is an 8 Bad. and 16. Uh, don't ask how I know that. Uh, definitely didn't do a run with a zero special attack this week. <laughs> I PB'd once with a zero special attack, zero at speed star <laughs> once. Oh <my> God. <laughs> Like one of the runs of all time. <laughs> I can imagine. Honestly, I'm like I'm more proud of that PV than like my current PV. <laughs> uh theme of Nelson is yeah, don't get put to sleep, please, because you waste a turn if you do, and, it, and you have, like, multiple opportunities to get swept. Yeah, like, if you have a good Starmie here, um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna put to sleep. Uh, if you have a good Starmie here, you can, uh, go for double Thunderbolt on this Hypno, uh, because we want to use Thunderbolt on the next Pokemon, but, um, don't think that's going to happen here. Uh, we do get rid of the Hypno in two turns, though, so that's that's pretty good. If you have a really good star, you can just Hydro Pump and one-shot it. I have, you have a crazy good star, me. It's like 140 plus. Oh, if you have 140, it's an 8 and 16 range. Honestly, maybe... I'd go for a coin flip. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, I haven't been punished by it yet when I've gone <laughs> for it. Sandy getting through uh, the first rotator trainer. There's a little black belt there, rotates. Uh, and the heal from Officer Jenny. All right, let's see. Razor is going through the bad check right now, right before Victory Road. Meanwhile, Quo is going to be coming up to that Samuel fight. Uh, let's see what Quo does here. Looks like a one controller fight. Gonna be going for that Hydro Pump. See if Quo gets it. It was a one in five. One in five to, to the die. Not get it, yeah. Oh, okay. we got it. Alright. Easy. Uh, Sandy doing Alexa Skip. Uh,. This involves not ever going high enough to be at Alexis' vision. So, it it looks it scary, it. but once you know the movement, it's not that bad. Mm -hmm. And Razor heading into the Naomi fight. I know Razor Star isn't the best either, so let's see if he can get that Hydro Pump range. And gets it. Nice. Ooh, you know, Sandy missing the Hydro Pump on Caroline. Okay. That's it the second time, though. Yeah, no troll. Caroline can put you to sleep, can freeze you, so uh, it's definitely a fight that guys uh, swung a lot of races in this tournament. 125 uh, special on that star. That is disgusting. Yeah. Uh... Sandy just going for the kill here. I, I do believe Sandy's going to have to heal before Dawson. Um, yeah. Dawson has a lick of tongue that knows Power Whip, and that hits really hard against uh, our Starmie. Yeah, I would probably kill Sandy Starmie from here, so he needs to heal. Also, Cold looks like he's doing 1C Giovanni. Let's see how this goes. Okay, you gotta survive one more turn. Yep, there we go. A, a little close, but made it through. No crit. Uh, riveting gameplay onto Sandy's screen. You push A to push this block 20 times. 
Yep, we're uh, playing a uh, Boulder Pushing Simulator 2023. <laughs> sure, I guess 2018. I love that game. game <laughs> <laughs> it was so much better than the 2015 version. <laughs> I know. Not better than the 2004 version where you didn't have to press A each time. <sighs> I don't know, pressing A just like make you make you feel more realistic, you know? <laughs> like you're really there pushing the you boulder. You should go up to the boulder each time. <laughs> oh. right, I know Sandy did heal uh, before pushing the boulder down the hole the Come first on. time. Come on. Oh. Boo. Mm. Well, yeah, Sandy's not going for any of the mount skips, but. Um, I know Razor. Razor is hot on their tail, so uh, I think uh, Sandy is deciding uh, want to get to the Elite Four fight before Razor catches up. They did also say the Joy-Con would not connect, so... Oh, that's Damn. unfortunate. Unlucky. Yeah, if you want to be able to consistently do map skip, you have to use like special Joy-Cons that snap to cardinal directions. And yeah, those like, Joy-Cons uh... are not optimal for the rest of the run, so... <laughs> They're like uh, $20 on Amazon. I should have got them during Prime Day. I didn't think about it. See if they were on sale. Uh, I remember a little bit ago, Sandy told me they were like in stock. I should have got them on sale. Oh, well. Fine, I spent... I bought new lights for my desk, so... Ooh. Yeah, I bought... I finally splurged and bought El Elgato key lights. My wallet wasn't thrilled afterwards, but you know. Uh, was that? No yeah. full restore pickup. That indicates to me, uh, TC Agatha Strats. Yep. So we might be switching Dodrio to the party here. Yeah. Right now, Sandy, uh, assuming safe strats, because, uh, Sandy Star is. One of the stars. Uh, welcome to be probably around a 308 pace, maybe a high 307. That's what I was thinking, because it's it's about 13 minutes to from this cutscene to the end of the game. Meanwhile, Razor making his way through Caroline. Uh, I assume a lucky skip went fine, since I didn't. See, uh, I did not see it go poorly. Uh, we have added Lapras to the party. Lapras? Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> so, last night, <laughs> I had a good <laughs> Discord. There was like a 500 message conversation about, uh, using a show in, in, in Pikachu if you want to do two controller strats for the entire Elite Four. Uh, you ne you would need a Pokemon that is weak to electric but not poison, and also survives an air slash from Pidgeot. And so there was a big discussion last night about what the options were for that potential Pokemon, and the conclusion that people came to was Lapras. If I it people, I mean I don't understand it. Uh. Sandy, is Sandy going to set up to plus six? I believe so. I really hope so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not just the Jinx, it's also the Lapras we got to hit. If you only use uh, two X specials and go to plus four for this fight, then uh, unless you have really good special attack, you will have to hit a range on Lapras and you have to hit a Hydro Pump on Jinx. Meanwhile, if you go to take that extra turn and go to plus six, then you will always one shot Lapras and you can just skull the Jinx and it'll always one shot. Through the first of the Elite Four. 
Meanwhile, racers through uh, the last trainer in Victory Road is going to be making his way out shortly. Razor is on very good pace. Uh, their PB oh. coming into this, I believe, was a 314. So Razor on very, very good pace right now. Yeah, this is looking to be, uh, depending on safety straps, I would guess probably right around uh, 312. That's what I was thinking. Probably 312, 313. It'd be a 311 if things go really well in Leap 4. Yeah, I think Risk would have to do risky strats for 311 here. And I just don't think that's gonna happen. Oh, Sand getting stealth rock from the Onyx. So uh, if if Bruno sees that you have one, more than one Pokemon on the party, it, I, it can go for stealth rock. Meanwhile, it will always go for Earthquake if you only have Starmie in the party, like you would the you would in uh, a lot of PB attempts. Take a look at this special attack here. 129, just gonna be a little short on the Dragonite range. <laughs> just a little bit. Still, a little, we're currently 10 points off of it right now. We got one more level up coming. Right, meanwhile, Razor bringing in the Dojurio as the partner here. So that indicates to me that Razor will also be doing QC Agatha. Oh, I did think Razor picked up the full restore, so not uh, sure what we're gonna see. Razor did. Yeah. Typically, the only reason to bring in Dodrio here would be to have a Pokemon weak to Electric for that 2C Agatha. But if Razor picked up the full restore, then I'm not actually not quite sure. Like, there's there's no other situation really where you'd need the full restore other than 1C Agatha. Get Sandy bringing out that second controller for the egg of the fight. So, for 2C Agatha, uh, pretty much just uh, attack with Starmie and uh, bump in X items with uh, your partner. Uh, if you have decent special attack, you can uh, gold the gold bat, which saves a turnaround. Sandy does not have that, but Sandy will probably still be scalding the two Gengars. The Gengar does not have the best defense in the world. Mm -hmm. um, Sandy did forget to heal here. I don't know if that matters. No, for TC Agatha, you never get hit. Other than like quick attack if I'm Golbat, if you're if you're in range for that. Oh yeah, you're faster than the Weezing. Yeah, and by using Scald on these things instead of Psychic, you uh, don't get those Carter Rams. And you save two seconds each time. Now Sandy can use the last two turns there to uh, heal to full and uh, Ether Psychic back up to full. Alright, Quo going to be coming up to the left just gets here. Uh, after pushing this boulder. very careful to make sure that it is uh, psychic that you use the ether on. Yep, you can accidentally use it on something else, and it is, it is uh, very Omega bad if you do that. Yeah. You would have to do some funky things for uh, Lance and Champ make it through. A lot of, lot of hydro pumps. Um... Ooh, keeping the 2C out for the start of the fight. I think they came up, Diamond Sandy came up with the, like a way to do the fight like this with Lapras. I, I didn't read the entire conversation, but uh, maybe maybe I'll be learning something today here. Very interested in this. 
I have not seen this strat before. Oh, I guess she's Lapras doesn't get KO'd by Hydra, question mark? And she's Dot is <laughs> Hydra of <himself. laughs> just, Or it just misses. Uh, that works too. Easy. Oh, wait a second. I think I... Oh, if this is going to go how I think it's going to go, this is going to be really cool. I don't know what the moveset the Lapras comes with is. Yeah, I am wondering what I if... think it is. I, I am curious if the Starmer Psychic Quest, whatever Lapras has, still always kills under Dragon Age. Okay, Dynam, Dynam knows what I'm talking about. Okay, if it's what I think oh! it is, this is actually really cool. Wait, I think I see, uh, I, I mean, <laughs> I guess I see it now. <laughs> I mean, our Razor doing, uh, one key, Agatha here. Gets Power of Love turn two, very nice. Wow. Yep, so uh, I think it's like... Like 10 or 20% yeah. per and, turn to get And he's showing off, off uh, some VG sil ski skills here. Uh, using the move Ice Shard, which has increased priority to drop that Dragonite's HP down to make wow. sure that the Starmie gets the KO. Alright, that was sick. Okay, this is. This stretch kind of. kind of goes hard, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> yeah, that was actually <laughs> really cool. <laughs> The one thing I do worry about with this stat is Labyrinth is a pretty low level, so getting a lot of this, a lot of level ups here could be I, a little slow. I do wonder if it can survive a hyper beam from the the Cedra. I feel like it can, but it's at such a low level, I'd be very worried it doesn't. Yeah, I don't know either. All right, uh, Sandy, starting the final fight of the game. Surprised it is the rival is the champion in this game. Sandy going to start the setup here. Uh, I'm actually curious to see how this strat ends up working out. Yeah, with Lapras being full HP here, it could be worse case because you oh, oh my god, it misses. Oh god, no! <laughs> oh. I, uh, I think Sandy has to go for the uh, the, the plus four T-Bolt here. Yeah. Um, just because of how low their special attack is. Yeah, the, the plus four Psychic was like a 10 and 16 on that. Yeah, it's not good, but uh, this should be uh, pretty free from here. For Sandy, just needs to click the right moves. Yep, you know, Sandy's setting up to plus six here on the um, on the Vile Plume. Uh, one of the major differences in the Starmie section between the two versions is that um, if your Starmie is kind of eh, uh, on special attack, like below average, uh, you do have to set up uh, an additional um, X special to take out this Jolteon. Uh, but if your Starmie has okay special, it's a, somewhere from moderate to like okay or like pretty good, um, you don't have to set that extra uh, X item up. Uh, Eevee just has to set up two X specials and it's done. Oh, Razor is gonna ruin this controller on this fight. I did think I saw the one controller set up from Razor, but then. I think the fight went south because their HP is very, very low. But, uh, 
Sandy about to close out uh, this this uh, this run. Mm-hmm. We're gonna be seeing a uh, looks like a three oh eight for Sandy. It's gonna be like a three oh eight three oh eight twenty ish. Yeah, um, I agree. Razor, however, uh, is on incredible pace right now. Their PB going into this was a three fourteen. Um, and as long as nothing goes wrong for the rest of this run, uh, Razor is going to walk away uh, with uh, a new PB. Yeah, Razor could be looking at a 311, maybe, barely. Uh, like a maybe? high 311, I think. Yeah, it has, to, it has to be like a good good luck champ fight, I think. Yeah, it could be like a 311.58 or something, but... Uh, this is looking like a low 312 for Razor. Mm -hmm. And Sandy is going to be the one to move on in the lower bracket. Again, for round three, uh, cuts are brutal here. Win your race or you drop. So uh, Sandy going to be moving on here. Uh, unfortunately, look, it looks like Razor and Quo will uh It's time for Sandy. 3020. Yeah. yeah. Very, very good time for Sandy. Right. Hopefully, at least looking to see that PB from Razor here as we head into the champion yeah, fight. Razor, Razor on very good pace right now for a new PB. And, uh, we now have our race winner, Sandy, uh, joining us here. Sandy, congratulations on the 308. Thank you. And moving on to round four. Yeah. Yeah, round four is like the goal of I want to get good enough to get there. And I've now achieved my goal. So anything like anything more is just gravy. And oh my gosh, Lapras is so fun. <laughs> yeah, as, soon, as soon as I like thought about like type advantages, I was like, oh my god, does this actually get ice shard? Sai J learned his type advantages. Yeah, the um, it barely faints to quick attack air slash most of the time from Pidgeot, assuming that you get the AVs in the right places. Uh, the stats are the same every single time, and it's always modest, because you set modest. So it's like very consistent what you're getting into. Does it survive a Hyper Beam from the Seedra? Yeah, it takes like 40%. Oh it's a oh, Lapras! Wow. <laughs> That was that was the Calpy and Amber were like, does that really survive it? It's such a yeah. Then level. so the idea is you take like um, either forty damage from Dragon Pulse or like 70, 80 damage from um, Hyper Beam. Then you use a potion or super to give yourself like full health minus twenty, and that baits Pidgeot into air slashing it. That's so good. Yeah, it's so silly. Wow. Yeah. Um, but it didn't work here because it missed Hydro Pump, which I could have, like, potioned and it would have been fine. But then Pidgeot missed the Air Slash anyways. So, it's whatever. So genius, oh my gosh. It was like 2 a.m. last night that I figured this out during a tornado watch. It was epic. <laughs> <laughs> I saw, I, I just kind of, like, watched y'all talking to the server when I was going to bed. It was a good time. First of all, uh, Sandy, I, I have a couple questions for you. So, yeah. uh, first of all, getting a 3 a weight here, that, how long ago did you do your very first run of this? May 18th-ish is my, when I streamed like, my first run. And that is, we are less than two months from there. We're getting a, a 3 a weight in tourney. So congratulations, you've been free. Yeah, that's so really much. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. No, I just just saying. Yeah, I'm just Midwestern. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, a, a couple notable things I noticed in the front. First of all, like how how were you feeling when you didn't get Caterpie out of Forest, and how how did you feel after getting the Charmander on Route Three? You know, like um, you know, Sparkle sad the emo. That's yeah. how I felt after Caterpie, but then I was Sparkle glad once I realized that I already had Rat and Pidgey for some reason, and I needed all the bonuses to work out, and all the bonuses showed up plus more, and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna keep Charmander because I'm gonna catch everything in Moon and it'll get close. And it worked <laughs> out. And it did. 
Anyway, Razor is up camp looking at a 312 right now. I uh, think that should be a PB for Razor. That so is he a, that is a over two minute PB for Razor. That is huge. Yeah, so I know Razor, Razor said they've been on really good pace lately and just were, weren't able to close it out recently on a couple runs, but uh, was able to close out a 312 here. Yeah, meanwhile, Quo going through this Wenchi egg at the fight right now. Look, didn't look like there were any problems there based on the HP, but... You did see Power of Love. Oh, yep. gaming. Love to Power see that. Power of Love on a crunch defense drop as well, so I uh, was able to kind of pull it through there. Yeah, one other thing I noticed in your run, Sandy, is that on Route 17, uh, you noticed you, you skipped both Pidgeotto and and Psyduck, and I'm I'm kind of curious what your what your thought was about uh opting to skip those catches. I wanted Grimer. Okay, you just and I had like... 54 planned at that point, and I didn't realize mm -hmm. things. <laughs> so like I did this in my last race where I had 54 planned going into Route 17, and didn't realize it until I was done with Route 17. We both mm. did. <laughs> like literally, I was at a point where all I needed was Ghastly or Psyduck, and then all I needed from that point was um, Pony, Doduo, and Star, and that was it. Welcome in, Razor. First of all, <laughs> huge congratulations to you. I you... believe that's a PB. Yeah, that's a minute forty-two. Yeah, nice. congratulations, DJ. There, really close uh, last couple runs, so uh, it's really nice to see you be able to close it out. That was that was better. I still hit the optional on six, like within a pixel, like. Uh, yeah, pretty... it was really yeah, I think close. we said you're like just like a pixel off. That was so frustrating. Yeah, I was so like, how, uh... how are you feeling about that catch count, Razor? I mean, you had that what, was like forty after nutty. power or something? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was nutty. That was literally AOP type catch count. It was ridiculous. Yeah, it seemed like you just everything just went in your favor. Route 10 was great mm -hmm. for you. Like, going into Route 17, I could have gotten the free Ultra Balls, which is insane <laughs> on an any percent run. Okay, looks like both of you, uh, both Razor and Sandy, you both got uh, Kanto starters. You did. And Quo, all three. Yeah. Got Pika trolled no, well, me so early. Trolled. Oh, you got two breakouts on Pika, right? I think I, I did. Yeah, I that did. was really important. That was so bad. It was so bad. Pika was bad. The optional sucked. Um, the Route 9 trainer, I ended up getting. Well, it ate my input, and then it was Sand Attack. And I missed the first headbutt. I'm like, no, 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 oh, no, no. Oh, that's no. happen there. Okay. Oh, looks like Quo is going to have a uh, guaranteed Dragonite rain here. Leveled up to that yeah, yeah, I, I knew I didn't. I, I knew I didn't have the guaranteed on the Dragonite, so I brought in the second controller so I could. First off, I bought it in two fights early. That way, I could set up an agility with Dodrio, guarantee the outspeed. And then hit uh, drill pack if I needed it. Oh, okay, okay. That makes sense now. I didn't end up meeting. I still hit the Dragonite range, but I was like, <laughs> I'm gonna take the safeties right here. This is a PB. Take those. Uh, Quo also has the ability right now to go for. I believe it is a seven and sixteen if they want to go for the plus two Thunderbolt on the Mega Pidgeot. Yeah. <laughs> 142 special. I think after Giovanni 2, I was 422 ahead. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. I forgot to buy the X Beads though, which cost me some time, but. Yeah, no, I I'll, did yeah, not. I yeah, I don't think we touched on this. Uh, Sandy, how'd you feel about your Starmie's special attack? <laughs> it was fine. Like, okay. <laughs> I put so much thought into bad Starmies. Like, mm -hmm. you saw me not heal the Rapidash after Giovanni and the gym. That's intentional to bait the Outrage, and you get more chances at Hydro Pump without risking yep. Crunch Defense drops. Like, it's just so fine, honestly. So, like, here's my thinking. 
I'm thinking we keep Dodrio in the party at slot two and use Dodrio on the Giovanni double. Because even if it goes EQ, you're fine. Otherwise, it's just going to slash. For the gem? On the Giovanni gem, yeah. That's actually the strat I use on the uh, Haunter alt main, and I'm like, wait, why don't we just do this? You never but have to heal the Rapidash afterwards. But then it lives. Yeah, you lose a bunch of time if it, like, You, you do lose there. some time there, to be fair. Yeah, I mean, and the big problem, too, is that uh, you really don't want Dodrio as your <laughs> partner going into the rival five as well. Yeah, Dodrio's not a, that means, mm. that means right you do still, not a Yeah, you do, you do end up swapping Rapidash in, so that's fair. Yeah. Anyways, Quo looks like he's gonna make it through champ right now. Yep, Quo uh, in the one controller fight, uh, the, uh, the, I guess, unsafe strats. <laughs> yeah, looking like we're going to see a uh, 319, I believe, from Quo. Uh, that fight was, per like, this race was fairly close pretty much all the way through. Yeah, you and Sandy for, like, I feel like the entire, like, <laughs> first two-thirds of the run were just, like, neck and neck right there. Yeah, and I kept I, on, like, I did everything checking. I could to make it iffy, but Bad Star didn't help me. Like, my PB has a amazing star. So, like, I I lost some time there, plus I did risky spots on PB. I kept well, checking, and there's, like, 20-second difference, and then, like, um, Vermilion Shopping helped a lot. Yes, with, it like, did. With, like, that was where you started, like, that's where the things swapped, because we were, like, neck and neck, and then you already did the Vermilion Shop, I'm like, okay, there's our difference. That's pretty yeah. much all it ended up being. Well, a little bit worse than that, because... I know. It's fine. I also oh. now know how to do early shop. <laughs> <laughs> I know Sandy was around for one of my runs where I did early shop and couldn't buy everything. So I've never doing... done early shop. It's good. Can it's I so good. You? I ran out of um, full heals, so I didn't have any paralysis heals going into oh. Silphco. So I, like, oh. did it to go get that. Oh, geez. And then you'd set up your X items uh, on the exit for million menu. Mm -hmm. So, like, Sabrina goes a little bit faster. And oh. that will be time for Quo. Nice. 3, 19, 45. GG, Quo. GG's. Thanks. That was a run. So, that was yeah, a run. A lot, a lot happened on, on your end there. It's just, I guess, I feel like the main thing to talk about is just the spawns, especially yeah. early in Moon and uh, <laughs> especially Route 10. That was maybe the worst Route 10 I've ever seen. Yeah, so, what so, happened on Route 10? Okay, so first of all, I don't think you guys have the entire story, which makes it even worse. So I just stopped doing the beginner notes and I did the advanced notes, and the beginner notes you lure earlier. Mm -hmm. So I got to Route 10 and I caught a Nidoran. And it was like level 22, and I'm like, okay, crap, whatever. I'll just lure, catch a Nidorina. Um, so I lure, catch a Nidorina that spawned. I guess the Nidorina spawned like as I paused, because it must have been like super small, because when I mm. got into it, it was like level 19. Which, okay, well, oh. whatever. I'll figure it out later. Um, at this point, I have like, I, I had like 20 catches. It was really bad. Um, so I just wait, and the only things that spawn are Nidoran. Mm -hmm. And then I repel. And lure again, and the only things that spawn are Nidoran again. <laughs> so I go down to the fight, do the fight, come back, and the only things that spawn are like Nidoran and rats, and I'd already caught a rat. Yeah, I think your spawns and... were like a Firo, a rat. No, I didn't like, even get Firo. Ants. I... Maybe I got Firo actually. I don't remember. Yeah, anyways, it was really bad. Um, I only got like Paris and Geodude in Moon, nothing else spawned. No, I actually got a Zubat because nothing else spawned, and I needed experience. Um, I ran into two Charmanders in Rock Tunnel, but didn't get a Rhydon, or Rhyhorn? Rhydon, yeah. Anyways, it Rhyhorn, was a whole thing. Yeah. Not getting Rhyhorn sucks. Oh, but, but then, um, I was going for the Firestone, because, like, Pika version, right? Arcanine? Mm -hmm. um, but <laughs> the one person part. Arcanine who spawned. Yeah, this, was, this was great. <laughs> <laughs> I needed the experience. That, like, going for that Firestone there when you don't have Rhyhorn and grabbing the Arca, 
it's not a bad strat. It was pretty good. I was also like super low in experience, so that was nice. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it was it was a it was a run, a run <laughs> of the moment. Catching the one percent Arcanine. I, yeah, I, I was debating go... catching that nine tails, but oh, I chose oh, we thought so you were going to. We were like, "Yo, sad. let's go!" <laughs> I, I debated it, but I didn't need it. I I was already going to be at forty pokes, which was insane. Like, I I wasn't worried about pokes. So I'm like, nah, I'll just grab this Abra. I'm also very happy that you went for Flareon there, Quo. That made me excited. I approve. <laughs> I approve. <laughs> What was the other options? Like, Nightmare Ditto? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, honestly, like, e Eevee was the best option there, because, yeah, like... Probably. I mean, I guess you could have maybe gotten the Saffron Moonstone, but even then, that's pretty slow. <laughs> I did see Tangela spawn. Oh, oh, boy. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Great idea. All right. All right. <laughs> I caught that once, and, uh, yeah. Aerodactyl it. lets you 1c blue if you want to <laughs> save a few turns and waste 40 seconds getting the Aerodactyl. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, because I didn't need much, uh, Doduo didn't Evo. Yeah, yeah. Oh. You went for the, the Doduo range there on well, the All I needed door. was Doduo, Pony, and Star. That was it. That was it. Yeah. All three of you got a uh, four turn archers, by the way, which you probably yeah, That was ridiculous. I, I ended up getting the freaking well, I got the perfect start. No protect. Boom. Uh Weezing came out and protected. But then I turn two turned the rest. So I got uh, yeah. lucky on the last like on the last three turns where I got two bone rings into the rat and I was good. Yeah, not only was it three four-turn archers, but, like, three four-turn archers in, like, different ways. Because you mm -hmm. got the Weezing Protect. Sandy just didn't get uh, Cubone to cooperate enough to get the three-turn. And then, Quo, you had the, the Thunderbolt turn one into Perfect Fight after that. Yeah, Cubone, like, partially came in clutch and then missed. It did. Oh, my, oh my gosh, like, the amount of sadness. actually this. helping out. Go the amount here. of sadness we had when Fomorin missed that first time, but then came mm. through the second time. You know, take what you can get. <laughs> exactly, exactly. All right, so uh, that's it for the races today. Uh, going forward, we have uh, a few more races coming up. Oh, we had a lot of races coming up we in the do. next few days, actually. Yep. We <laughs> do. Yeah. So first of all, tomorrow we got somebody in this call doing a race here. Yep, that's me. I'll be there at uh, be there at uh, five p.m. Eastern. Uh, for me versus Furist. That'll be yep. a really good race. Uh, then we have uh, after that uh, at eleven fifty-eight Eastern. I guess. <laughs> Back um, when they submitted it. <laughs> the, sure. The next uh, Joker versus JT versus Pokey Guy uh, over on PSR uh, TV2. Um, and then two minutes later uh, on uh, <laughs> PSR TV, uh, you'll be able to see uh, someone else in this call uh, versus mm -hmm. uh, Triv and uh, T-Pat. I'm no, excited. Actually, two people in that call because I will be commentating that run. Ooh, oh, yay. I, I'm so excited. Amber comments so, mine, and I comment theirs. Yes. Uh, so I think the two two upper uh, bracket races have already happened. So we've got uh, Headstrong heading into the winner's finals, and Etchy heading into the winner's finals, and then me, Trev, and T-Pat are going to be going for that final That's slide. That's going to be a really good race. We all know T-Pat can have insane runs. Triv is really good. Yeah. Ember's a legend. <laughs> it's going to be a hell of a finish. Yeah, T-Pat just one of one of the best racers. Triv just keep if Triv just gets good luck for once in her life, <laughs> she could have a really good run. <laughs> she could. Imagine. She could. But yeah, that I believe that's gonna be it from us. So uh thank you so much for watching this race. Thank you so much for watching uh, 
all the reasons that I've happened today, and uh, we're gonna see y'all tomorrow, 5 p.m. Shy Day versus Beers. Hope you uh, hope to see you there. Congrats yeah. Have a good night, everybody. Nice. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Good night. Good night.